Hello, Gazoodle. David in the chat. Hello. Kevin talking about the No Man's Sky uh, soundtrack. They have one. There is a No Man's Sky soundtrack. That is what you're listening to right now. I did modify this one, so I looped it. So that's what I've done. But this is from the No Man's Sky soundtrack. Specifically, let me look at which, uh, which song this is so I can tell you exactly what this one is. This is the No Man's Sky soundtrack outlier. This is variation one piano. So that is the one and I've just taken the like the middle section and I've looped it. So you can go out there and get it, Kevin. You can go get it. It's a good soundtrack. If you like this kind of music, I, I love this kind of like synthy kind of rocky music. I love it. I don't know what you would call it. I call it like synth but you can call it whatever you want. I don't know. It's good, though. What's the space station uh, one called? The space station one. Oh, the rock. Oh, God. Let me let me see what I got here. Oh, God. I, I'd have to find it for you, Scar. Now you're putting me on the spot. You're putting me on the spot. That would be... Uh, is that the super moon? I think that's super moon, right? That's the one that's kind of copyrighted. <laughs> Uh, I believe that is Supermoon. Let me see. Let me show you. Let me let me let me pump some of that going in here. Let me see. Where is it? Yeah, that would be it. I think that's the one you're talking about. This is called Supermoon. I believe that is from 65 Days of Static. The uh. Like a different album, so that will get you copyrighted. You don't want to play too much of that. Uh, there's some music that you can play on, like, a a, um, a stream. That's because it's in the game. They kind of don't do any copyright on it. There is some of it that you cannot play. <laughs> well, I mean, you could. There's nothing preventing you other than copyright. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, still munching on Warhead Sour Taffy. Nice, Spamton. Nice. So, guys, let me get this game going here. We are playing some No Man's Sky Extreme today. Is Deadloop possible in this game? Deathloop? Could be. Deadloop. <laughs> I think it is super. Yes, it is. Kelly got it. There you go, Kelly. Uh, the No Man's Sky soundtrack is so cool, but sometimes the blending in games gets funky. Yeah, it is. Because it's like a, they try to mesh it, and sometimes it just doesn't line up. It's hard. It is hard to do. I'm not a sound engineer. I'm not a musician. But in my radio job, we had to like cut, um, you would cut different songs and you would, number one, you would try to cut the vocals out. And number two, you would try to loop it. So it didn't, you didn't hear the beginning or the end. You just kept hearing the same thing over and over again. Because if someone's talking on a talk show or like if you're a morning DJ, you need to have a background sound. You want that, but you don't want anything else to distract from you. It's really hard to do. It's really hard. Uh, Spawns says, did you add friend codes from the Discord? I did. So I added as many as I could. I think I got a most of them. If you guys did not know, there is a Discord you can join. A Jason Plays Discord. And we have a literal channel, a section, just to put your friend code if you want to. If you want to put your friend code out there for anyone to, like, add you as a friend in No Man's Sky... You can do that. So I, I was going through that list. We have a lot of, let me look at my codes here. Um, yes, 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 yes. I'm good all the way up until um, December 9th of 2022. So it sounds like a lot, but not that far back. I stopped at December 9th because I didn't know how, how many doubles I was gonna get. I kind of put a message in there. If you put your friend code in there, don't you don't have to do it more than once. Just put it in there once and I will get to it eventually. So I'm slowly trying to add in everybody on the Discord because that's like the easiest place to go. That way I could just read it and type it in. Over the weekend, I was just typing in a whole bunch of uh, friend codes. <laughs> Hello, Miyogi's in the house. Hello, Miyogi. Thank you for hanging out today, man. Uh, I did. Da -da 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 -da. Jason will likely die only once, hopefully many, many, many years from now. <laughs> well. Depends, Jason. Depends. Some uh, some people believe you die a thousand times a day, depending on uh, how you live your life. 
So uh, everything I learned about No Man's Sky, I learned from you. Thank you, Will Kelly. Thank you for watching me. Very much appreciated. Let's get in here. All right, guys. So we are going to start a brand new save on Extreme. However, the one, the one setting we will turn off is the death setting. So I'm not, well, the uh, permanently deleting your save. So it's going to be set to... Uh, we'll say, let's say, uh, permadeath. Okay, and then I'll just go to items destroyed. So, oh, I guess it's survival. Survival, but instead of deleting my save, it'll just destroy all my items. So everything in my inventory will be destroyed. I have to start all over again. Miyogi, member for 10 months. You're freaking awesome, man. Thank you so much for being a member for 10 months, Miyogi. And uh, Miyogi says, uh, thanks for the good times and the laughs. Well, thank you for watching. Seriously, very much appreciated. 07 for Miyogi in the chat, you guys. And if you don't know, 07 is a salute. So it's a thank you to anyone who supports the channel. If you donate, if you hit the like button, thank you very much for hitting the like button. Everybody subscribing, all that kind of stuff. If you show any support for the channel, you get an 07. Uh, Carol says, what? No permanent save? No, no, no. We're gonna go. We're gonna go extreme. So everything's gonna get set to the maximum. Oh yeah, we should probably switch over to the game sound. There you guys go. We're gonna set everything to the maximum except save deleted. Cause I I've died like multiple times. So I was like, oh god, I was gonna try to be hardcore and do it. If I keep dying, it's not gonna happen. So instead, we will just we will uh, we'll settle on my items will be destroyed. So. Everything in my inventory will be gone if I die. I have to start all over. So if I collect a whole bunch of resources or anything like that, everything is destroyed. You keep your technology. So if you have any upgrades that you've installed, they will stay. However, if like I have an upgrade, but I have not installed it yet, like if it's sitting in my inventory waiting to be installed, it will go away. So that is how that works. We're going to do that. We're going to go challenging on enemy strength because, again, I want to make sure it's all difficult. Well, let's do disable the tutorial as well. That way we don't have to go through the beginning like we did a million times already. Wait a minute. Are you freaking serious? David Gazoodle. Damn, I'm good. Can you feel that? Huh? Can you feel it, Captain Compost? David Jeffries Gazoodle with the 50 gifted memberships. That is freaking Mind-blowing 50 gifted memberships. You're a freaking mad, man. I love it. Thank you so much. Everybody's going to be a, uh, a member, man. Holy cow. That is awesome. Thank you very, very much. Oh, sevens for Gazoodle, for David. I keep calling you both. I call you Gazoodle because you're Gazoodle in my head. But Gazoodle, thank you so very much. That is insane. I can't even see any chats. There's just so many... Gifted membership notifications. I love it. Thank you so very much, man. Very awesome. Why is it zero times an option on your poll? Oh, because I'm going to die. It's just, it depends on how far we get in here, but I'm pretty sure we're going to call it, you know, but, but I love the, uh, I love the optimism for the, uh, zero times death. I like to be realistic. I know I'm going to die at least once. <laughs> it's going to happen. I'm not going to be paying attention. I'll be looking at chat. And all of a sudden, something happens on the screen and I die. That's what's going to happen. More than likely. All right. Let's make sure. We are totally full here. There we go. 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 Everything's all set to the maximum, except the save deleted. There we are. So we're going to be on extreme survival. Extreme survival difficulty. Let's do that. Oh, seven for Gazoodle, for David. Very awesome. Uh, let me get in here. Play, been playing since 2016. Hello Games is nothing but amazing. Chris, exactly. A lot of people had issues with No Man's Sky when it launched in 2016, and I get it. It was not what we were expecting. However, they have put in the work over the last six, almost seven years now. Seven years that they've been doing this stuff, and it is paying off. I think it's freaking awesome. You guys, No Man's Sky is way better than it was, and it's continually getting better than it, than it was previously. So I love it. I'm I'm in love with this game. Again, I mean, unless they come out with a No Man's Sky 2, which I don't think they will, I, there's no way you're going to stop me from playing No Man's Sky. 50 years from now, I'll be playing No Man's Sky, and it'll be amazing. 
I will be taking a break for, uh, for Starfield, though. You know when Starfield comes out, I'm going to be all over that. I'm going to be all over Starfield. Uh, but yes, 07 for everyone who's becoming a member. 07 for Gazoodle. You guys are freaking amazing, Gazoodle. You guys are awesome. You are awesome specifically, Gazoodle. And everyone who hit that like button. We are almost at 100 likes already. You guys are freaking amazing. Thank you so much. It does help the channel a ton if you hit that like button. So I appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Oh yeah, we gotta make sure my uh, gotta make sure my network is on. Uh, disabled. How's that disabled? Okay. So anybody can join me. You can't kill me though. I'm gonna turn off PvP. So my multiplayer is enabled. My group my group is open to anyone. However, you need to add me to your friends list. And not only do you have to add me, like you have to add in my friend code, which is right there. Add that friend code in. I have to add you to my friends list. So if you want to join my game or jump in and hang out, you need to go over to the Discord. Go to the Jason Plays Discord. There's a link down below. Go to the Jason Plays Discord. And there's a section specifically for No Man's Sky friend codes. Slap it in there. I will be, I'm constantly trying to add in more people. I'm not going to be able to add you in right now, but later on we'll be able to add you in and get you in. So heck, yes, we have Stellan in the in the chat. Oh, look at this. You and your awesome uh, Sentinel ship, I like it. All right, oh, we need to make our, uh, there we go, there we go. We need to make our visor, so let's pop that down. And I will say, I will ask, don't give me anything. We're trying to do this legit, quote unquote. So. I don't want any any additional help. Like, if you want to get in here and show me where, like, a crash ship is, I don't mind that. But don't give me any items. Don't, like, try to help me, like, ch uh, cheese the game or anything like that. Trying to do it hardcore. Trying to go all the way on my own without too many exploits. Like, we're not going to do any, like, uh, save reloading. We're not going to get any of uh, that kind of stuff going on. We're not going to be doing duplication glitches or anything like that. Just going to be straight up trying to get to the end of the game on extreme. You know, granted, not, ex not permadeath extreme, survival extreme. We'll switch it out to survival extreme. There we go. Now I don't want to join you because I can't kill you, Jason. Well, I know. I take all the fun out of it. I make it more difficult. <laughs> all right. Apollo became a member as well. Thank you so much, Apollo, your fellow traveler. And everyone who got a gifted membership, you are now all fellow travelers on the Jason Plays channel. Thank you all so very much. Uh, Spamton says, I think the interview went well, by the way. Yes, good. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully they call you back and you're good to go, buddy. The, I, uh, da, 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 I think they said they would call if they were interested of AMC's three principles. I got two. She said most don't get any. She asked if I knew them. Nice. There you go. There you go, dude. Seriously. Hopefully they're gonna call you back by the by the weekend, man. They're gonna they're gonna take some time. They have to do the other interviews, I'm sure, so they wanna make sure that they're hiring the best person. But Spamton, you are going to be the best person for the job, and they will be calling you back. It'll be awesome. It's gonna be awesome, man. And then love you, bro, Apollo. Thank you so very much, Apollo. Now you got a green name. When you're members, you got a green name. You have a badge next to your name. That way you have a special indication on how long you've been a member. And you get special emojis that only members can use in the chat, which is awesome. So well, let me see those emojis from everyone who just became a member. You can click in there. They have different emojis for all kinds of stuff. So YouTube kind of uh, limits you depending on how many uh, members you have. So we don't have too many yet. So we can only have so many uh, emojis, but I'm trying to get in there and get a lot of as many emojis as they'll let me have. <laughs> so slapping a lot of good stuff in there. Seraphine, hello. Thank you for hanging out with us today, Seraphine. And uh, she says, I would I would join if I could at least blow up your ship. But since I can't, got to keep working. Dang it. I know it sucks. Maybe we'll do a maybe we'll do a versus stream where I try to survive. We won't be doing that permadeath, I'll tell you that. Maybe I'll play on my main save, my normal save, and we will do, like, some kind of a combat uh, stream where you guys try to hunt me down and, and murder me in the game. In the game! <laughs> see see how long I can last. I do have my main save. I got some pretty good upgrades, so I think I can last a while if you guys are trying to hunt me down. So maybe we'll do something like that. That'll be pretty, that'll be pretty fun. 
There we go. Get rid of that rust. We don't need that. Uh, Spamton says, forgot to ask, but how was your day? Oh, I'm doing awesome, man. It is Tuesday. I meant to stream yesterday. I had some things pop up, so I wasn't able to stream yesterday. However, jumping in today to get a good stream in. I'm excited. We've, I've been playing a little bit of uh, Dead Island. I don't know if you guys are into Dead Island. I think it's a pretty solid game. I mean, the only thing that kind of gets me is that it's a $70 game, but it doesn't feel like a $70 game. It feels like if it was 40 bucks US, United States, USD, if it was $40, perfect. That would be the best game. Always would recommend that. However, $70 is a little steep. That's a little pricey for what you're getting in that game. Not that the game is bad. It just feels like it's very slimmed down. It's not open world. It, it's kind of short for me. I mean, depending on how, you know, some people, they want a game that's only 8, 10 hours, maybe 15 if you really stretch it. You know, but for me, $70, you got to have either a lot of content or it has to be the most mind-blowing, amazing next generation game of all time. It doesn't hit the bar on either one of those. It's good. Don't get me wrong. It's good, but... That might be a wait for the sale of like 40 bucks. If it's $40, $30, that's a solid $40 game. Solid $40 game. Anyway, let's jump in here. Noodle says, Bork, hello, Dr. Pong. Thank you for hanging out. And Bork, back to you, Noodle. All right, let's get in here and see what we got. We, get, we can make a Hermetic Seal, right? We can, and we can also make a... Uh, there we go. So we got everything we need. Perfect. We can get the heck out of here. Easy peasy. We don't have to worry about all the, uh, what the, did I not make a metal plating? Oh, I did not make a metal plating. I thought I did. I did not. Okay, there we go. Boom. Brad Strong. That's a good name, Brad. Very good name, Brad. With the super chat. Thank you so much, 07 Brad. Good morning. 5 a.m. watching you live. Love your videos, bro. You over in New Zealand? Are you a Kiwi? 5 a.m. That has to be Australia Kiwi territory. Man, but thank you. Thank you very much. I mean, you know what? It might be Australia since uh, I see the A in your mo in your money. So, yeah, it might be Australia. <laughs> well, thank you so much for hanging out. Morning from New Zealand. Oh, Kiwi pirate. I would never have guessed. <laughs> uh, same here. It, it should have a replay value or I won't spend 70. White Wolf. Exactly. I mean... They do give you different, uh, they do give you different classes, like you have different characters. So you can play through the game multiple times, however, and, I mean, it is short, so it's easy to go through quickly, however, it just, it feels like, I don't know, $70 is kind of steep for me. Again, if you're into the zombie, you know, semi-open world, like, they have open regions. It's like, uh, you have open areas that are pretty big but you have to load into the next area. It's not like one gigantic open world. You have, you still have to load into different areas. And I mean, they're decently sized. They're not massive. They're not like, you know, huge, humongous, like GTA islands, but they're pretty good. They're pretty good. It just doesn't feel like $70 worth of content to me. That's definitely where I would say, eh, when it goes on sale, and you know it will eventually, you know, this summer when there's not a lot going on. <laughs> I feel like we're about to go through a big... We have we have Zelda coming up. We have Jedi uh, Survivor coming up. We got a lot of games coming, so it's going to be kind of really, you know, hot and heavy for games. So if you're waiting, if you're going to get Jedi, I would say wait on... If you're waiting on Dead Island, you can wait. Dead Island 2, play that over the summer when it goes on sale, like in, in July or August. It'll go on sale, you get it for like 30 bucks, and whew, that's a great $30 game. Oh god, don't shoot yourself, Jason! I'm trying to collect all my resources here, guys, sorry. I'm trying to get all my cobalt and all my, uh, my, uh, carbon and all that kind of stuff. Don't hit the trees, Jason. Alright, I think we're good, I don't want to die, so let's do this. I heard Zelda- oh, dude, Lord Snack Daddy. Zelda looks like it's going to be an amazing game. It, again, it's a $70 game, and it doesn't look like it's going to be very changed. Like, it's not a whole new world, but if Zelda's your thing, it looks like it's going to be a solid game. The whole crafting that they've changed, the, uh, the combo tools, like being able to mix a rock and a stick together. Dude, or, you know, different kind of, uh, what do they call it? They had a system they called it. Uh, I have no idea. They have a system I can't remember. But it looks like it's going to be a very, very awesome, solid Zelda game. 
Jedi uh, Survivors coming out this week. Guys, next week is Redfall. There's a whole bunch of games coming. So definitely, it's one of those times where pick and choose your battles. Not everyone, you know, unless you're a millionaire and you can just buy whatever you want every minute of the day. Pick and choose your battles. And so, you know, I would say Dead Island 2, good game. But if you're looking at anything else, I would wait on Dead Island, wait for a sale and play something else while you're waiting. Uh, 332, when I'm typing this, 07 Spamton, hello. Suck it, Jason, that comes from Streamlabs, thank you. <laughs> Professor Cynical, is he in the house? I see him, how many times have you died? Not, nothing yet, nothing yet, Professor Cynical. None yet, none yet, zero times so far, <laughs> so far. Uh, but we've only been streaming for 25 minutes, so <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Uh, Eco Terrorist says No Man's Sky purchase on PS4 on launch, then digital on PS5. Now on Steam Deck, Hello Games have been well rewarded, dude. I mean, it is worth the investment. The only thing I would say is be careful of the Switch version. Like, if it. Wait a minute. If it's your only version, like if you could only play on Switch, it's a good version. It's a decent version. However, if you have a choice between like Switch and like Xbox or PlayStation, get the xbox or a playstation version there's more there you get multiplayer which is a big big factor and you also you have more content there's settlements there's things like that there's capes there's small little details that you wouldn't think you'd miss until you play the switch version and you're like oh yeah i forgot they don't have that or they don't have this or whatever so if you have a choice i would say get an xbox or playstation version but if you only have a, a switch perfectly fine perfectly fine it's not a terrible, it's just lacking a little bit of features that I like. Uh, Blair with the super chat. Thank you so much, Blair, alternate reality studio. And Blair says, uh, keep up the great work, my Colorado friend. Thank you. You and Bob got me started on this game. Oh yeah, with a, with a Supreme, an S class symbol. Thank you very much, Blair. And yeah, Colorado, guys, we're about to get snow. In the, what, the end of April, start of May, we're about to get snow again. So if you're in Colorado, get ready. We're going to have snow showers tonight. So I'm getting ready for it. I live a little bit out in the country a little bit. So whenever the weather gets bad, that's when like my electricity kind of flickers a little bit. My internet might go off and on. So eh, bad weather is always kind of iffy around these parts, <laughs> just in case. So thankfully right now, no snow. We're not supposed to get snow till like this evening, like six, seven o'clock. So, you know, like five or six hours from now. So we got plenty of time to get in a stream before the bad weather hits. And I love, you know, the, uh, like the internet. My provider is like, oh yeah, if it's severe weather, it might, uh, it might affect your internet. It's like, well, isn't the internet underground? All the wires, all the, uh, all the stuff infrastructure is underground. Why does it have to, why, why? <laughs> so uh, yeah, I don't try to think about it too hard. Cause you know, very limited options. Sadly, one of these days, I'll be a kajillionaire and it won't matter. But right now it does. Anyway, Seraphine says, how have you been, have you found a uh, Kerbal Space Program 2 so far? Rough release, I know, but after patches, what do you think? Actually, I haven't gotten in the space program since it launched. Well, since it hit early access. So, oh God. Yeah, I haven't, I have not played Kerbal Space Program. I need to go back to it because I did. I did play it when it launched in early access and it was rough. It was very rough. And so I don't like showing off a game, especially when it's at early access. Early access means they are testing it and they are trying to make the game better. So I'm like, okay, I'll give you guys that. It's early access. So, you know, there's gonna be problems. There's gonna be bugs. There's gonna be issues. However, it launched pretty rough. And I was like, mm, maybe not show this off yet. I'll come back to it when it's like, closer to release i have not come back to it yet though so i definitely need to go check that back out again i need to go back to kerbal space correct program just to see where they've done it um there we go come on alone amidst the stars where is it at i don't have it uh oh i don't have it i have space anomaly i don't have the artemis uh Storyline, uh-oh, uh-oh, what's going on here? Why don't I have the Artemis storyline? 
Hello? Do I need to go to the space station, maybe? <coughs> Let's go to the space station. Maybe that'll help it. Uh, Seraphine says they patched it twice and fixed a lot. It's still not perfect, but they are working hard on it. That much is clear. Oh, uh, for sure, 100%. And I kind of, I kind of, uh, I got some notice that they were like, oh, yeah, we, we know it launched in kind of a bad state. So we're patching a lot of this. The performance was what I was really more worried about because if I'm going to stream a game, I need performance. And that game frame rate was real bad. And I was like, I can't play this on a stream. Number one, it kills your uh, your graphics card. But number two, even if I tried to stream it, would it even work? I don't know. AJ Coolness says ha you have to warp for it to come up now. Oh, really? I did not know you had to warp. So I have to literally make my... Uh, I have to make my hyperdrive, huh? Well, we're going to have to get some resources going on here. That's kind of weird that they, they make you warp. That's really weird. Because, I mean, you need to get all the stuff to warp to begin with. Let's see. Can I sell anything here? This goes over here. That goes over there. Right there. You know I have to organize my inventory, guys. It just has to happen. I know. Buy hydrogen. Ammo. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. This goes down here, down here. Open that up. This will be my launch fuel. We don't need this. We don't need that. We do need this. We can make a life support gel out of that. So let's do that real fast. There we are. And we have that meat. Okay. We don't have any money, do we? We have 4,500. I don't even think we could buy a suit upgrade, can we? Let's see. Can we buy a suit upgrade? Um, oh, yeah. It gives you the first one for free because uh, I see zero dollars here. Let's see. Is it zero for 4,500? Let's see if it didn't mess up anything. No, it didn't take any. So your first one is free. Okay. And then they start charging you after that. Okay. I mean, I could deal with that. So we don't have any cash. We need to make some cash, guys. So let's start getting some of this stuff going. Uh, Seraphine says, hello, I was running it on my 128-core uh, Threadripper. Good lord, Seraphine, yeah. I wish I had a, a Threadripper. Good lord. I bet you you didn't have any problems. <laughs> uh, and four th uh, 3090s. Good lord, and I was getting about 10 frames a second. It's getting better. Than wow, <laughs> that's insane. That was insane. Yes, if I had a Threadripper, hoof, that'd be crazy. Now, the secret is, a lot of people might not know this, games are always or usually optimized for one core so instead of getting like a, a, a like a thread ripper you want to get a faster core you know so even if it was lower cores but it was a faster processor it would actually work better most of the time now there are games that run on multiple cores don't get me wrong more modern games are doing that however a vast majority of games only use one core so you want the fastest core now you get a thread ripper if you're like doing OBS, if you're streaming and doing a whole, if you're running other stuff other than the game, then yes, it's going to use more cores because you're doing more things. But usually games, you'll get one, maybe two cores, like a dual core, maybe. But I mean, anything over four, it's not going to use anything like that. Uh, Spamton says, Jason, you've had the chance to live in the No Man's Sky universe, would you? I think I would, just because there's respawns in the No Man's Sky universe. So there's some weird food, so don't get me wrong. It's not ideal. However, you can respawn. So, I mean, that's a huge benefit. I would not be playing on permadeath, I'll tell you that. <laughs> no permadeath for, uh, for, re for living in No Man's Sky. I don't want permadeath. Let's see, what can we get here? We need to get some uh, stuff to sell. So we're looking for any kind of buildings. I'm on a dead planet. Oh, I am on a dead planet. All right, let's get out of here. Dead planet is not what you want. Eh, we can kill. We can go after this pirate. We'll get uh, 100,000 for that. Uh, yeah, they need to fix that and use more cores. Maurice, it's just how uh, game engines are coded. I mean, I think that Unreal Engine will use more than one core. Unreal Engine 5. But again... 
It's just uh, it's just a thing that they've done forever. And there's some game engines that will use more than one core, but they're very rare. So it's more about your processor speed versus how many cores. If you have like a Threadripper that has 128 threads on it, yeah, it's great for doing multi-processing stuff. Like if you're doing video editing, you're, you know, you're doing a lot of other stuff that uses multiple cores, sure. But video games, one or two, max. So what kind of controller does everyone use? I use a PC N64 controller. Oh, White Wolf, that would be awesome. I would love to use an N64. And you have a literal, con you know, the literal three handle controller. I want that. That would be amazing. I would love that. Oh my God. That pirate did not take any time. He was just like, nope, automatically trying to come after me. That would be really cool. I would love that. Get him. Man, I need to upgrade my uh, weapons because look at that. I'm not doing anything. So I got a battery and I got some money for taking them out. Uh, salvageable scrap. Okay, there we go. This is where we need to go because there's going to be scrap down here. Let's get in here. Threadripper is overkill for gaming. Oh, yeah, Uncle uh, Groon, yes. But... If you're a content creator, you want something, you want an AMD, like a Threadripper or something like that, because you can run, you can basically play everything on the same PC and not really worry about it because you have multiple threads for everything. So like if you're a streamer, it comes in handy. You're using OBS, which uses mul multiple threads. You're using, you're playing a game. You have like any kind of a chat or any kind of other thing you have going on here. Like you have Streamlabs or whatever running in the background. You want multiple threads. So, but yeah, if you're just going to game, don't worry about, you know, getting a, a thread ripper. That's way overkill, way overkill. You don't need to spend, you know, I think they're like $5,000. <laughs> you don't need a thread ripper. You do not need one for gaming. It's always nice to have. So if you, if you're able to get one, awesome, but it's not a requirement. You know, so there's a certain point where you got to take that money and invest it into a good, like, a GPU. Because a lot of times, especially if you're playing at 4K or you're playing at 1440p or anything higher than 1080p, you're going to need a good GPU. You need a, a good graphics card. So, because once you get past 1080p, that's when your graphics card, you need to have higher, you know, higher resolution textures and all that kind of stuff. And that takes a lot of... Uh, graphics power to do that. 1080p, okay, not that doesn't take a lot of power to do that anymore. So we're talking like if you're doing a, an 8K, you know, 120 frames a second, you're gonna need a huge graphics card. Uh, I love my Threadripper, can game and render all the same. Dude, I know, Keith! That's why I want one. One of these days, I will be cool enough to get a Threadripper and it'll be amazing. I'll be able to just, I'll be able to edit a video and also stream a video and play a game at the same time. Just overload everything. Uh, I think my next investment is going to be a new graphics card for my, uh, my setup because my processor is still pretty good. However, when I looked at it, if I want to get a new processor, I have a, a 10, 9, 10, 900K. So it's not the newest, but it's still a pretty good processor. It has 10 cores in it. 20 hyper thread 20 threads so it's decently good however i'm running into uh caps on my gpu so that's why i want to do that number one but number two the uh if i wanted to upgrade my processor anyway i'd have to buy a brand new motherboard and i need to buy a, a cpu so we're talking a thousand dollars close to maybe eight hundred dollars for a new setup anyway so, I mean, it, when it comes to my processor, I'm just going to have to just buy a brand new PC, basically. Because you're spending... If I want to get a good processor, one that's better than the one I already have, it's going to cost me maybe another, you know, two, three, four hundred dollars for the processor itself. Then a new motherboard. Yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be... Oh, God! I forgot! Oh, I don't have any sodium. Oh, crap. Don't die again, Jason. Good Lord. There we go. 
Recharged on that. All right, we need to we need to get our uh, our stuff going on here. We need to make our terrain manipulator. Uh, we need a jelly and we need some nanotubes. So do we have enough for a jelly? We do. We got enough for a jelly, and I think we have enough for one nanotube. We need two of them though. So we need some more. Give me some nanotubes. There we go. Uh, Nicholas says, Jason, love your videos and thanks for the amazing adventure on the new main save you created. Well, I mean, it makes me want to explore the story myself since the game is so amazing. Dude, do it. It is so much fun. Always, always recommend doing that because No Man's Sky, it's a traditional survival game. You know, you can, you can compare it to like uh, Minecraft or something like that. However, there's more story content here than usual. So I would always recommend people do the storyline. It kind of gets you used to all the features in the game. Plus, they give it to you for free. They give you a lot of blueprints and upgrades for free. So always recommend doing that. Uh, Ivory Tower Collection says bigger PSU as well. I mean, I have an 800 now, so I always try to over over provision. But yeah, I would need a new P, uh, especially if I get like a, a 4090, you're going to need a, a new P PSU, a power supply. So, I mean, yeah, at that point when I'm doing a, a, a CPU, a processor, and a motherboard, you might as well just get a whole new setup. I might get a bigger uh, case, things like that. That's going to be years down the line. The, uh, the thing I can do for, I mean, I would say little, but the same cost, but more of a difference would be buying a better GPU. So the newer 40 series cards, they have two. I don't know if you guys even care about this. They have two video processing units on them. So right now I have a 3080, which is a very, very, very good card. But it only has one video processing, so one capture chip on it. So if I'm capturing video, I can do it with one chip. The new ones have two, so it makes it capture faster, capture easier. When you're editing video, it's way more beneficial. It has better cores on it. And I can take out my 3080. I can replace it with a with a 4080 or 4090 and I can sell my 3080 and make up the difference. So that's why I can kind of get it I can justify getting a uh, a newer 40 series card. So not really justify, but you know what I mean. You know, I can I can offset that cost a little bit by selling my 3080. And you know, making up the difference. All right, we need to find some sodium quickly. We're going to do this. No, give me. One death. One death so far. I know I was trying to look for my, uh, I was trying to look for anything for my freaking, uh, my, <laughs> my hazard protection. One death. 42 minutes in. I died once. Damn it. And when you die, look at this. Nothing. Oh, it even broke my hazard protection as well. Great. It even broke my hazard protection. So not only did I die and lose all my inventory. I mean, I still have it in my uh, my freaking ship, which is good. But I lost my freaking thing. All right. That's one. That's one. Spamton says, Jason, the computer I'm planning on getting will cost 6000 That's a hefty price. Uh, not going to spend anything till I've earned double that. Gonna make sure I've got the money cushion in case something goes wrong. Exactly, Spamton. That is very, very good uh, advice. Good. That is very good planning. You always want to make sure you have extra. You don't want to spend every nickel you have, and then go, "Oh crap, this thing broke or that thing. I need to, I need to send it back or whatever." Because then you're out. That's why I'm, I'm gonna get a. Um, uh, I'm going to buy my uh, my next GPU, my next graphics card first. I'm going to put it in, make sure everything runs well, and then I'm going to sell my older graphics card. I want to make sure everything's running, nothing's wrong, and we're good to go. So I'm not going to I'm not going to blow all the money and buy a whole new PC. I'm only buying a new GPU. And once it's ready to go and everything's working the way it should, I know there's nothing wrong with the card, I can sell my old one. That way, I have a uh, I can make up that money. So I can make up the difference back. We need we need a whole bunch of ferrite dust to fix my, uh, <laughs> I need to fix my hazard protection. Oh, come on. Come on.
Get back in here. I know, I know. Let's see if I can fix this thing. Can I fix it? Are you serious? I need one more ferrite dust. Well, we're going to have to wait for my shields to come back. Uh, you were 20 minutes in when you first loaded the game. <sighs> Shh, Grey Wolf. Shh. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to make myself feel better by saying I played for 40 minutes before I died. <laughs> what difficulty are you on, Kobe? I am on extreme difficulty. The only thing we turned off was permadeath. So when I die, instead of me instead of it deleting my game completely or deleting my save completely, what happens is if I die, it deletes all of my inventory. So everything in my inventory is gone and it breaks something, obviously. It breaks some kind of a thing. So great. I broke my uh my uh my hazard protection is broken, so I'm literally trying to fix that before I die again. I just need one more freaking thing. Okay, good, we can fix that. There we go. Now we gotta get back in here, that way we can recharge our hazard protection. Jeez Louise! Getting murdered, you guys, getting murdered. Alright, we got some sodium, we're good. Uh, what GPU are you running right now, Jason? Tony, I'm running a 3080. So, I have a good... I have an original. I don't have a, a TI. It's just a regular... Let me see. Does it show you that? It should. Yeah, I have, an, I have a regular RTX 3080. So, I don't have a TI or anything like that. So, it was when the... Uh, I was very, very lucky. When the, when the 30 series came out, I was able to grab one immediately for MSRP. Because I don't know if you guys remember... Two years ago, when they first came out, when the 30 series came out, the prices were insanely, like, through the roof because of a crypto mining. So you couldn't find a card for regular price, MSRP. I found one, and I got it immediately. I was like, dude, give me that give me that card. So I was lucky enough to get it at, I think it was, was it 800 or 700? It was something like that. It was at a regular price, you know? So that's why I got my 3080. And so, yeah, I'm going to upgrade this to the next version, mostly for video editing stuff. I mean, I run No Man's Sky perfectly fine. Cyberpunk gives me a little bit of issues because I play at a higher resolution, but that's not a big deal. I can just lower some settings down. I'm mostly getting a 40 series because the productivity, the video editing, whew, smoking, smoking good. If you're a, if you're a content creator, and you have the money. I mean, that's the thing. That's the other thing is if you have the money, those are really expensive cards. However, they have some really, really good stuff for video editing, for streaming. They are able to encode an AV1. I don't even know if you guys care about that, but I do. So it's very helpful for content creation. And the side benefit is it's really good at playing games. <laughs> so there you go. Don't need salt. Don't need salt. What do we come down here for? Oh, yeah. we. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. We were looking for our salvage, except we died when I got my salvage. So, uh, I'm dead. Ancient data structure. Do we have any more salvage around here? No. No, no. We have a sodium deposit. We have a uranium deposit. We should probably get this. Because uranium is good for fuel. We need to get some, uh... We need to get some of these blue crystals. Heather Silverman says, suck it, Jason. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have you. Suck it, Jason. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. Very awesome. Guys, if you're not following Heather over on, she just put out a video on YouTube. You guys should go check out Heather's YouTube channel. And she streams over on Twitch as well. So, guys, definitely give uh, Heather Silverman a follow on YouTube and on uh, Twitch. She streams a lot on Twitch. She has her first video out. Or is it your first video? I think it's your first video on YouTube. So definitely check that out. It's a duplication video. So definitely something to go watch. Uh, how's Cyberpunk on the Xbox Series X? It's good. I, I played it when it first came out. It was not so good. It is very, very solid. Now, I will say I'm a little bit... Uh, <laughs> I'm a little bit... I don't know what you would call it, blessed or a little bit spoiled because I play Cyberpunk on my uh, on my PC with a 3080 so I could do ray tracing really really well. I can't do the well I mean I could I can technically do path tracing. I can do the ultra ray tracing. 
However, <laughs> I only get like 20 frames a second, <laughs> something like that. And that's on the good part. If it's really busy, if there's a lot of stuff going on, I get like 15 frames a second. So uh, you can't play. You can't. I mean, I can't play Cyberpunk at 14 frames FPS. There's no way. <laughs> there's no way. I can't do it. I'm not that good. Oh, well, we need to get some of this stuff going on here. So, Jason, stop moving and get all this stuff. We need to make a life support gel. Here we are. There we are. So, now we should have enough. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. So, one, two, three, four. Oh, just three. One. We need some more plant life. So, let's grab that. As long as you don't move, it doesn't use any of your uh, your life support. So just don't move. Don't move. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, I love playing Cyberpunk on my PC. Beautiful. It is, Blair. It is a beautiful game. I mean, just running around at night with ray tracing on, you see all the neon that's glowing. It's insane. And it runs well on Xbox and, you know, P and PlayStation as well. If you have a if you have a PC or a PS5 or a Series X, it runs well. However, they do have... I don't even think they have ray tracing, or if they do, it's very, very limited ray tracing because I mean, it's a console. How are you going to squeeze ray tracing onto a console? You can't. Not really. Not, like, super intense. They give you, like... They give you very basic ray tracing. Don't get me wrong. It's there, but it's very minimal. It's very, very basic ray tracing. Versus on PC, you could turn on path tracing, which is, like, the most intense ray tracing you can possibly get. Every beam of light bounces multiple times it's crazy i've seen it and i've run it it looks amazing however I, on my pc i can only run it at like 15 20 frames a second and it, it's not good playable <laughs> it's not playable but it looks amazing <laughs> it looks like a whole bunch of screenshots of amazing looking game <laughs> that's what it's like all right, we're going to get a whole bunch of this uranium. That way we can fly around. We need to get some freaking money. I don't think you lose your money when you die. Nope, we still have all of our units. Okay, good. So you keep all of our money. You just lose all your items when you die. So that's good. You don't have to worry about, oh, I died, and now I don't have any money or anything like that. You're good. You're good. It will be dicey for when you have uh, life support stuff, because then you lose all of that. I know. Let me let me recharge this before I mess up and die again. Uh, hoopty doopty. Hello. Thank you for hanging out today and hitting that like button, you guys. We're at 200 likes. You guys are freaking awesome. Thank you so much. But hoopty doopty says, should I get a settlement? First time I found one. What are the benefits? The benefits are that they will randomly give you items as a... Um, when you first run into a settlement, they'll be in debt. And so... They're basically, they are running a deficit. After you've upgraded that settlement for a little while, like you've added new, like a bar, a landing pad, different buildings, it'll start making items for you. So they're never really extravagant. Like they're never the best. However, it's always just fun to kind of get in there. There's also a special storyline that's connected to settlements that'll let you upgrade your Minotaur. So if you use the Minotaur, like the Exocraft, the big uh, robot, the big mech, if you use that, it is beneficial to do a settlement because there's a special mission that comes from settlements that'll upgrade your Minotaur. Other than that, I mean, it's it's not required. Like, you could play the whole game and not even touch a settlement, and you'll be fine. You don't need to. There's no absolute necessity to get one or to interact with a settlement. But it's always cool to kind of do the side stuff. Just like I just did a uh, living ship guide, there's no reason to do get a living ship. You, you can totally play the game 100% without one. However, they're kind of cool to have. So they're not as cool as I was hoping, but they're pretty cool. Is that a trade? Is that a trade guy? Let me see. Is it a trade guy? No. I don't think so. I mean, I don't see him. Yeah, it's multiplayer's on. Multiplayer, when it's on, it causes a lot of problems. I can't even see my trade guy. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, Dr. Pong says, I like building a base upon the settlement to make the mini city. Yes, there you go, Dr. Pong. That's the way to do it. If you're a big base builder, you can use the settlements to make like a mini city 
that's pretty cool. I've seen some city builds using settlements, and they were pretty awesome, gotta say. Pretty awesome. All right. And we'll put this down here, of course. That's where that goes. That's where that goes. Is someone attacking the Sentinels? It sounds like it. Let's get up here, because we can also shoot the ground. Here we go. Get some uh, materials this way. Don't shoot yourself like I just did. That was dumb. Just caused damage to myself. Uh, Seraphine says, head to pop away for a few. Have you died again? No. No, I haven't died again. I only died the once. <laughs> I got close. I got close. But I'm just trying to make money. That's what I'm trying to do. We need to get our uh, hyperdrive going. I need to get some copper as well. So let's actually, let's see if I can find some copper from the air. So basically, you'll just have to be flying around and... Oh, or I can get a whole bunch of oxygen and sodium right here. I could do this. Let's do this because there's a lot of sodium in here. We'll take that. So let's grab a little this sodium. This is really, really good. And I can split this up, put some of it on my ship, some of it in my inventory. That way... If I die and I, my inventory gets deleted, I'll have some of it somewhere else. So that is a definitely a, a key factor of, oh, don't keep all your stuff in the same spot just in case. Because you don't want to die when all your good stuff on you. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at all that. Look at all that sodium. Beautiful. And then we have a whole bunch of oxygen nearby as well. Look at that. Two patches right next to each other. I love it. Don't get mad. I'm just picking it. It's normal. It's normal, right? Yeah. Okay. Good sentinel. Thank you. Old Explorer says, Jason, remember it was a ball snapper planet that killed you last time. So don't get cocky. <laughs> don't get cocky. Yes. 100% old Explorer. 100%. I will not get cocky with this. Oh, I love it. That sodium and oxygen does not seem scarce. Oh, that's true. That is true. This is, at least for here, this is really good. And if you wanted to, you can turn, you can literally build a base here. If I built a base like over, like over there, eventually this would grow back. It would regrow and I can get a whole bunch of oxygen. I can have basically an oxygen farm right here <laughs> if I wanted to. Let's see. Oh, let's eat this. Here we go. Now, I don't see any. I'm looking for. Oh, we have an ancient data structure over there. We don't need that. I'm looking for any of the buried stuff. Oh, there it is. There we go. So now I can go fly over there, land next to it, mine it up, and be good to go. We need to make some cashola, some money, some moolah. All right. I have to go. Heather Silvermist, thank you for hanging out. I know everyone has stuff to do, especially Heather. Guys, seriously, go check out Heather's channel over on Twitch. She streams a lot over there and also on YouTube. She has an awesome YouTube video up. Go check that out as well. But thank you, Heather, for hanging out. Seriously, much appreciated. And Judas Goat Barbecue, thank you so much for the super chat, Judas. Much appreciated on that. And Judas says, smash that like button. Great stream, Jason, by the way. Thank you so much, man. Super appreciate it. And yes, guys, seriously, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button, we have 235 likes. You guys are freaking amazing. Likes really do help out the channel a ton. YouTube pays attention to those likes. I know it doesn't seem like it sometimes, but they do. They do. So they call it interaction. So the more interaction a video has, the more likely YouTube is to promote it. And so that's why, you know, every creator, you every video you watch, they always say, hey, like, subscribe, and comment, because that all counts as interaction. And the more interaction your channel has, the more likely YouTube will share it out to other people, and you'll get more subscribers. More subscribers means more viewers. More viewers means more money and more attention, which means, so it's a big cycle. More views equals more likes. More likes equals more uh, promotion. More promotion means more views. More views means more likes, so on and so forth. So. I appreciate you guys. Seriously, hitting that like button. It's absolutely free. You don't have to spend any pennies or anything. It doesn't cost you anything but a second of your time. Appreciate you guys. And Miyogi with a super chat. Dude, Miyogi, thank you so very much. Much appreciated on that one, Miyogi. 
And Mi Miyogi says, later! Jason, you're the guy. You can do it. Well, thank you. Thank you, Miyogi. And thank you for hanging out today. Seriously. Everyone watching, you guys are freaking awesome. I know it's a Tuesday. A lot of you guys are either at work or getting ready for work. Or if you're over in uh, Australia, New Zealand, you're, you guys are waking up early in the morning right now. I don't know. My wife is one of those people. I, I will never understand it. I worked in news radio, so I had to wake up like at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning. Absolutely. I am not a morning person. I did that for years. I hated it. I am not a morning person at, at all. So my wife loves it, though. She always she always wants us to wake up early on the weekend. I'm like, why? You're off of work. She, you don't have to do anything. Why would you want to wake up early? What's wrong with you? <laughs> but she loves it. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I mean, you know, it's not me. You know, you, you want to wake up. I'm not going to force you to stay, you know, I'm not going to force you to stay asleep. But I'm going to snooze. For me, a good, like, wake up time is like 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. That's a decent hour to wake up. So, I mean, I'm not, don't get me wrong. I'm not sleeping until noon or whatever. So don't get me wrong on that. However, I'm not waking up at 6 a.m. if I don't have to. There's times I have to. Don't get me wrong. I, again, uh, getting a lot of things wrong. Uh, I will wake up early if I need to, but if I don't need to, I'm not doing it. I don't choose to wake up that early. <laughs> That's not a choice for me. Uh, uh, your voice when you responded to Seraphine sounded like, no, man, no, mom. I didn't die again. Get off my back. Exactly. Quit. Get out of my room. <laughs> I didn't die. You died. <laughs> oh. You gotta, you gotta do that. You gotta have fun a little bit, you know? Just tease a little bit. No, I didn't die. You died. <laughs> uh, do I hear 10 a.m. for sleeping? Oh, dude. I sleep till like 9, 9 o'clock. That's like the latest I'll stay in bed. It, I mean, granted, if I had a really long night, like if I streamed really late at night or something like that, or if I was working late at night, okay, yeah, I'll sleep until like 10 or 11. But on a normal basis, if I had like, like my average day, I'll go to sleep around 10 or 11 at night, and I'll wake up at about 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock in the morning. And I say go to bed at 8 or 9 at night, or 9 or 10 at night. I, I go lay down in my bed. I, I'm one of those people that's hard to go to sleep, so I need, like, a warm-up time to go to bed. <laughs> I gotta I gotta warm up to my bed. Zoo! Are you freaking serious, Zoo? Damn You're awesome! God. Can you feel that? Huh? Can you feel it, Captain Compost? Zoo, what the five gifted membership, Zoo? You're freaking awesome. Thank you so very much. 07 for Zoo. And Zoo has been a member for 18 months. Zoo, freaking awesome, dude. Seriously, very much appreciated. 07 for Zoo. And Zoo says, thank you. Enjoy, everyone. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, we have so many members going out th today. Guys, you guys are freaking amazing. Everyone's a member, basically, at this point. Holy cow, you guys are freaking awesome. Much, much, much appreciated. Uh, let me go through it. Let me see in the chat here. Is someone shooting at you from the sky, AJ? I think so. But I have my multi... My, I have my PvP turned off. And that's why. Just in case someone wants to get a little spicy and shoot me from the sky, it doesn't kill me. <laughs> so... I wish that by default they would turn it off. However, Hello Games still hasn't heard my warning. There's so many people who never check it. They never go into their menu. You have to just go into your network settings right here. Pause menu, go to your network, and make sure right here, PvP, by default, normally if you start a brand new save, it will be on. You do not want that on unless you want to go, you know, fight people. That's fine. However, a lot of people don't know, and so they'll just run around they'll be in multiplayer like oh this is so fun and then they'll get murdered and it's like wow that's not fun so i wish they would turn it off by default and then if you want to go ahead and go in there and turn it on that's fine let me let me turn it on don't just make it default on we need to probably uh get my life support going yep um we're gonna need some more sodium let's grab that I'm trying to make as l as much money as possible, you guys. Uh, we have copper. We need copper. We do need copper. So we'll do that first. And then we'll go get that salvage over there. Spamton says, Jason, 407 people watching. Oh, seven. I know. 
It is freaking awesome, you guys. Seriously, we're averaging really high viewers, which is really, really cool, really, really exciting. To me, that says a lot of people are back into No Man's Sky. For a while there, for like from October till about uh, beginning of, uh, of April. So what is that? November, December, January, February, March, April. Six months. A lot of people were, were upset with No Man's Sky, and I kind of felt that because not a lot of people were watching No Man's Sky content, which is fine, but you can kind of feel that rumbling like, oh, everyone's really kind of upset with what is going on in No Man's Sky. They don't want to come back and watch it. They don't care, which I get. I get. But now we have a, we had a good update. I think the Interceptor update was well-received. A lot of people were excited about it. We have new Sentinel ships. We have new Sentinel multi-tools. We got a lot of cool stuff coming on. And so I think a lot of people are coming back, which is awesome. I love seeing that because I, I will say it now and I'll say it forever. No Man's Sky is an amazing game and more people should play it. If you're interested in uh, survival crafting games, No Man's Sky should be near the top of your list. Maybe not the absolute top, depending on your favorite. Like some people prefer more of an arc style of survival. Some people want like a rust or, you know, depending on your flavor of survival, but no Man's Sky should be on that list because it's a really awesome, amazing game. Should be on that list. Maybe not the top, but top 10. Definitely. Get in here. So seeing more people come back and start playing again, I love it. It makes me feel good. I'm like, okay, people are coming back. People are coming back. Uh, Mike from the UK says, Jason, will you be streaming Tears of the Kingdom over on the other place? Oh, maybe, maybe. That is something I need to, because I did make an announcement, you guys. Nintendo is very, very hardcore about their games. They don't like people... I shouldn't say hardcore. They're very strict about how you stream their games and when you stream their games and all kinds of everything around sharing content about their games. And so a lot of content creators recently have been getting knocked for using mods, for just sharing stuff, for for uh, not having enough commentary, things like that on Zelda specifically, but also in Mario and other games like that, any Nintendo product. And so it makes, it makes me hesitant to do that simply because I don't want Nintendo to come after me and you know, like destroy my channel because I, I streamed Zelda. However, Twitch is a little bit different. I don't know. I don't know that much about Twitch's uh, rules and regulation. I need to get in there and, and see what's going on with Twitch. So Twitch might be a possibility. I know YouTube for sure. I don't want to even try it just because so many people have gotten kicked off of or their channel's been deleted or gotten strikes for streaming and putting up videos on Nintendo games, which is sad because I love Nintendo games. I'll play Zelda. I play a lot of Pokemon games, but in, as a creator, you get kind of nervous because you don't want to get in trouble. He said the name. I did. I did say the name. <laughs> I did. I don't think saying the name will get you in trouble or anything like that. It's more about showing their content. Nintendo is very strict about how you show the gameplay, how you show trailers, all that kind of stuff. They are very strict about the gameplay itself. I mean, they can't copyright that. I mean, maybe they could copyright strike me for using the name. I doubt it. I don't think so. <laughs> we'll see after this stream. <laughs> I don't think they're going to come after me for saying the name. <laughs> So, but yeah, showing the content. It's more about streaming and showing it versus uh, saying and talking about it. Yeah, Nintendo's been very locked in. They are. And they go through different modes. Like, I don't know if you guys were around like five, ten years ago, but Nintendo, ten years ago, you could not even talk. You could not show any clips of Nintendo games. You could not stream Nintendo games. Nothing. You couldn't show trailers of Nintendo games. Absolutely zero. You would get in trouble immediately. Then they kind of backed off and said, okay, if you guys want to do Let's Plays and talk about our game, do it. But you need to abide by certain rules. Like you can't use it in a derogatory, like you can't make a, a, a Nintendo game porno video or whatever like that. They were very, I mean, I say that's strict. That's obvious. Hopefully you don't do that. But they were kind of specific about how you can use it. 
Now it feels like they're cracking down harder back on it again. And I'm like, okay. So I don't know. I just, especially on YouTube, I probably won't stream any uh, Nintendo games on YouTube because it's just very iffy. But over on Twitch, they might be more lenient because it's a stream only or it's not, doesn't stay up for very long or I don't know. I'd have to, I have to look into Twitch and see how strict they are on Twitch versus YouTube. Legendary says, hello, Jason and chat. Just came from Survival Bob stream and I think I need to get Spaceborn too. Dude, I might be doing a Spaceborn stream because I keep seeing Bob play it. It looks like a fun freaking game. I might do that. So that might be a stream we do later this week or maybe next week. Uh, yeah, because Jedi... Oh my God, there's so many games coming out. I want to play everything, but you don't have time to play everything. That's the problem. If there was like unlimited time during the day, I'd be great. But you know, you only got so many hours in the day. You can only stream so much. But yeah, so Bob, if you guys don't know, number one, you should check out Survival Bob's channel. Survival Bob has been back. He's been doing a lot more No Man's Sky stuff. So if you guys have kind of bounced off because Bob was gone, Bob is back. Go check out, go back there and check out Bob's channel. He's streaming more often. He is putting up videos. Bob is back. But if you don't know about Bob, Survival Bob does No Man's Sky stuff as well. And he has been streaming a new game or a game in early access, I should say, called Spaceborn 2. And it looks pretty legit. It looks really fun. So I might have to dive into there just to see what it's all about. It looks very fun. I We did kind of play it on stream, when we, I think when we were playing Diablo, people were telling me about Spaceborn, so I went and grabbed it and played it while we were waiting, because Diablo, if you got kicked, you had to wait and wait in queue before you could get back in and play the game. However, you know, we, we jumped into Spaceborn, and it seemed really, really fun. It was kind of finicky because it's an early access game, so there's going to be bugs. There's going to be issues with it. But overall, it seems like a really, really solid, awesome game. So that might be something we do. Oh, Moose3211, hello. He says, hey, Jason, I have played No Man's Sky since the initial launch. Now that my son is five years old, he's able to grasp a lot of the game, surprisingly, with my help, and of course, but mostly with yours. Well, that's awesome, dude. Seriously, Moose, that is freaking awesome. No Man's Sky is an amazing game to get out and start with. It's, there's, you know, there's some violence, but it's not like gratuitous violence. There's no cursing. I mean, unless you count Gra. <laughs> But and so it's an amazing game to get in there and kind of explore because it is it's like Minecraft except for space themed and I like to me I like this version of it better. I love Minecraft. Don't get me wrong, but This version this kind of a, a theme to it is more my style more my style. I love it That's why I'm interested in uh in Starfield. That's why I'm interested in space porn I like this open world like space themed games they're kind of my, they're my jam. I love them. You know, I mean, I love Oblivion. Elder Scrolls is great. Fallout, you know, Fallout 3, Fallout 4, great. Fallout 76, not so much. I mean, I haven't, to be fair, I haven't played Fallout 76 in a long time. I played it when it originally released and I was not impressed. However, they, I've heard that they've updated the game. They've made improvements to the game. So I can't bash fallout 76 i haven't played it in the last year or so so i mean you know they probably made it better i don't want to bash it because i don't know <laughs> however when i did play it it wasn't good <laughs> it wasn't terrible but it wasn't good it was not fallout to me all right let's go to the space station we have some stuff we can sell we can probably make some money oh yeah we got we got tons to sell we need to refine this okay yeah okay let's go let's go to the space station we need to get our microprocessors because we're trying to make our freaking uh, hyperdrive so we can go to a different system. There we go. There we are. Kano says, Jason, have you tried Satisfactory? It's been early access for a while, but I feel like it's a full game. Wait a minute. <gasps> I don't have to. Oh, I don't have to actually go to a different system. I thought I did. You are not alone. This is the Artemis system. Okay, this is the Artemis storyline. Excuse me. I thought I had to go to a different system. Hmm, look at this. 
There we go. Well, let's. Well, while we're here, because we're only like five feet away anyway, let's do this really quick, cool, and we'll get that done. But yeah, I want to play. There's so many games I want to play. I've been interested in. Satisfactory's up there. Star Citizen is up there. Uh, Elite Dangerous, I want to try. I'm a little bit down on that. You know, since they kind of abandoned uh, consoles. But I want to try it anyway. I want to give it a. I want to give every game its fair shot. I, I don't want to judge it prematurely. However, they kind they abandoned uh, they abandoned consoles, and I kind of just puts a bad flavor, bad taste in my mouth. Uh, but I want to try Elite Dangerous. I want to try uh, Star Citizen. I want to try Satisfactory. I have a uh, uh, is that Hard Ship Breaker or Hard Point Breaker Ship Breaker. I want to try Ship Breaker. There's so many games. There's so many games out there I want to try. Jedi uh, Survivor is coming out on Friday. I'm going to be playing that. There we go. 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 I think that's it. Um, we're going to need that meat. That way I can refill my life. All right. So we're going to need five microprocessors. One, two, three, four, five. Um, we need some chromatic metal. Oh, perfect. I got a whole bunch of that. I think we're good. Well, solid. Let me eat this. That way it's out of my inventory. Put that over here. We need to refine all of this. We have a whole bunch of oxygen. Uh, starship. There it is. Beautiful. Five of those, four of those. I think we're good. Put that over there. Put that over there. We're going to need to make some uh, antimatter. Three, four, five. We need to make some uh, the casings. Five. There we go. Oh, God. We are ready to go, you guys. There it is. Look at that. We have five. We have a full warp cell ready to go. Um, Chris Bogus. Bogus. Chris says Satisfactory is a must. I love that game. It's, gonna be on the, it's definitely on the list then. Scartex says it's hardship. Hard space ship breaker. I know that. <laughs> I knew it was something like that. Hard space ship breaker. <laughs> I know it was a ship breaker. I knew that part of it. <laughs> uh, James says, I played Elite Dangerous on the uh, C64. Was gutted when they declined to leave consoles out. A few. Yeah, I know. I mean, it is what it is. They have to do what they have to do. It just doesn't feel good when they do that. Especially, they put it out. They supported it for multiple years and then just decided, ah, eh, you know what? It's not worth it. And it's like, well, okay. So now I bought the game and it just, it is what it is. I, it's not finished and you're just not going to come back to it anymore. Kind of feels terrible. Kind of feels bad. All right. Travel to the stranger's coordinates. Where are the stranger's coordinates? What is this? There it is. Some planet. We need to go over there. Oh, look at this one. Noxious. Oh, this is the moldy planet. Uh, Jason Plays is from Spamton. Fallout 76 got worse. Oh, God. Less glitches, but a crap ton of in-game. Wow. I kind of saw that happening. They had to make up the difference. They launched a game, and they thought it was going to be popular. So it's the curse of a live service game. If it's not popular, if not a lot of people are buying it, they have to pump in a whole bunch of microtransactions. If it's really, really popular, a ton of people are buying the game, then you can kind of get away with not doing a lot because you know people bought it. So, not a lot of people buy it. That means you gotta you gotta uh, spam the few people who did, spam them with a whole bunch of microtransactions, which is sad. I mean, it is the the reality of 2023 though. That's why I'm like, sadly, that's the way it goes. Hopefully, that's not a norm though. Hopefully, they kind of say, nah, you know what? We tried it and we're just trying to recoup our money, but this is just, uh, we're not using that formula anymore. Hopefully. Um, I guess we're going to land over here. Let's recharge that. Uh, Scartex is also, Hard Space is a very relaxing and unique game. I tried it when it was an early access scar and it was, it felt like it was like a, a space trucker kind of game. It was more like, Hey, you know, you're out here just trying to pay off your debt. <laughs> that was, it felt like a really cool, like atmosphere for a game. Just kind of cut this, uh, this ship up, break it up into pieces and sell it and pay off your debt. Kind of cool. I like that kind of a, a game, but I haven't played it 
since it fully released. So I've only played the early access version, so I don't know how much they have changed. All right, this is where we're going. Old Explorer says, Jason, I think my Valheim on Xbox got an update. Oh, I heard that they were updating it. What is this? Damn, I'm good! Can you feel that? Huh? Can you feel it, Captain Compost? Is that... Is that... An exotic? Are you kidding me? An exotic? Please tell me this is a real crash. Please, for the love of God, tell me this is a real crash. Oh, it is! Compare and claim it! It's mine now! Are you serious? We got an exotic? Usually, not always, but usually, you'll get like a C-class, like, shuttle or an explorer for... This is Artemis's ship right here. Are you serious? Oh, man! Okay, so, glyphs. Let me show you the glyphs. If you guys want to come get this... Let me show you the glyphs. They're down there. Bottom left-hand side of the screen. I will zoom in for you guys on this one. So normally I try not to because then I forget to unzoom or to zoom back out. But I will for this one because this is a good find. All right. So let me go back into camera mode. These are the glyphs. There you are. Let me find a good spot. These are the glyphs for the system. So if you want to come here and get this thing... Remember, turn off your multiplayer. Turn off your multiplayer. Do not have multiplayer turned on. Do not, because if you have multiplayer turned on, someone can come in and swipe it like I did. I just grabbed it. No one else can grab it in my session. All right. Now, those are the glyphs. Let me zoom back out. That way you guys can actually see what's happening here. Um, Transform. Fit the screen. There we go. And if you want to know the coordinates, it's a negative 31.15 and a plus 98.83. I don't think I have a save beacon. Let me see. Do I have it? I don't. I don't have a save beacon. Oh, someone did. Okay, there's a save beacon at it. So, of course, we're going to save here. But if you want to use the coordinates, there's a save beacon here. You should be able to see that. However, if you cannot see the save beacon, go to negative 31 or minus 31.15 and then a plus 98.83. Point nine eight two. 98 plus 98. 2. There you go. Very awesome. Zoom out. I did zoom out. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> All right. We got it. Oh, my God. I can't believe we got one like that. That's crazy. Don't need the poop, right? We're good. Let's grab this. We need sodium and how do I not have chromatic metal? What? How do I not have chromatic metal? Oh, it's in my other ship. Duh. All right. Well, let's call in our other ship. <laughs> I forgot. All right. Let's call this thing in right there. So now I can use it because I have my chromatic metal on my ship. That's why. There we go. What galaxy? Oh, Michael, it's going to be in the starter, the Euclid galaxy. So. When you start a brand new game, it always starts you out in Euclid. I'm in the E-U-C-L-I-D. Euclid Galaxy. The beginning, the starter galaxy. So I haven't gotten... This is a brand new save. We haven't gotten far at all. So that's why we're here. And it is a white, beautiful exotic. Now, I want... Should I fix it? Or should I scrap it, you guys? That's going to be the question. Okay. Should we scrap it or should we save it? I'm going to put that as a vote. So we're going to end this poll right here. That way, there we go. We're going to start another poll. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys. We're going to put a poll up. Keep it or scrap it. Because the one thing, and I, we will let it go for a little while. The one thing about exotics is that they're really, really good. They're really, really awesome ships. However, a crashed exotic. What is going on here? Okay, that's kind of weird. It is really broken, meaning I have to fix up all this stuff. So I'm going to need a lot of magnetized ferrite. I need chromatic metal, gold. I need 
all this stuff. I need platinum. You need a lot of materials in order to fix this ship correctly. So, you guys, you really, it's, it's really difficult. Oh, supercharge right here. Is that a supercharge? It is a supercharge. Supercharge here and supercharge. Dude, where's the other one? Uh, supercharge over here. It has a, oh my God, look, it has two shield upgrades. Good Lord. Vote in the poll, not in chat. Oh yeah, guys, guys, guys. There is a poll in the live chat. So if you cannot see it, refresh the page real fast. So hit refresh. It should pop up. It'll be a blue poll over there. Blue poll over there. You let me know if you want us if you want us to keep it, and we will just slowly fix it and you know upgrade it and get it going. Or if we can scrap it, we'll get the money and we'll buy something different. Whatever you guys want to do, that's what we will do. But either way, I have to fix it up and you know get the engine working so I can scrap it if I need to. So we need metal plating and a hermetic seal. That's the only thing we need. I see 67% say keep it, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to fix this, uh, this shield. So let's get in here. Got to grab my uh, chromatic metal. I think we have that. We also need to uh, get some sodium nitrate, so we're going to need to make a, uh, a refiner. Need metal plating for the refiner. That's why we did that. There we go. Put some of that in there, and also we can refine some copper into there. But first, we need to get some sodium and turn it into sodium nitrate. Where are you at? Where's my sodium at? Am I blind? There it is. I, I just couldn't see it. Okay, there we go. We need some sodium nitrate in order to fix our ship. So I'll switch it out. And we're going to fix our shield. I need more chromatic metal and sodium nitrate. I need 50 chromatic metal. That way, if I get attacked on the way to the space station, I can just, like, uh, run away. <laughs> run away like the manly man I am. All right. We need to get some more chromatic metal. Actually, you know what? We should. Let me look. It says 67% say keep it. It looks like we're going to keep it. I'll give you guys two more minutes. So two more minutes, and we will see. We have 170 people uh, voted so far. There's 400 people watching, guys. Get the vote in. Keep it, 67%. Scrap it, 33%. So it looks like we're going to keep it. So I need to start planning accordingly. So I'm going to have to get some more materials here. So let's do sodium nitrate. Let's start refining some of our copper into chromatic metal. Don't need all of it because I think we need some copper. Let me get in here. Give me my shield done. Do we need regular copper? It has a hyperdrive. I still need to fix that as well. Uh, paraffinium, pugnium, paraffinium, chromatic metal. Good lord, I need to fix this thing. All right. We need chlorine, magnetized ferrite, uh, platinum, magnetized ferrite, magnetized ferrite. Oh my god, we need a lot of this stuff. All right. Yep, we need uh, like sodium, chromatic metal. We can sacrifice this one and fix that one. So let's do that. That way we can actually get this done. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There we go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So we fixed that one. We still need our chromatic metal on that. So we have a shield upgrade. That way we don't get as much damage. <laughs> um, there we go. So that should fix the shield. There we go. So, perfect. We need some uh, more sodium nitrate and pure ferrite. How about not a pure ferrite? Why not? We need a weapon. We need to get our basics, our essentials going. There we go. There we go. There we go. We're going to take all this stuff, put it in our new ship. It looks like you guys are voting for keep it. We got one more minute left in the vote, you guys. So if you want to trash it, you guys got to let me know. Um, no, we're not going to refill that. Actually, you know what? We will scrap this. Okay. Copper, condensed carbon, pure ferrite, sodium nitrate. We can do that. 
Let's do this. We're going to scrap. Oh, we're going to do it. We're going to go all in, you guys. We're going to scrap our pillar, and we're going to use that to try to fix up our exotic. So let me do this real fast while we're here. I need to make sure there's room in my inventory so I can scrap it. Or, yeah, so I can scrap my, my pillar of autumn or pillar. No, no, we can't scrap both because we have... Uh, we have to, uh, we have a vote going. We can't scrap them both. Yeah, see, we need a lot of wiring loom, you guys. Lots of wiring loom. All right. So what we got to do now is move all this stuff over because we need to make room in our inventory. There we go. Hopefully all this fits. As, no, damn. Okay, we're, we're going to be real close, you guys. Real close. What can we do here? What can we do here? We can get rid of this. Put this down here. All right. I think that's good. If we need to, we'll get rid of the bullets with the ammunition. But we don't think we need to. All right. So we do have that ready to go. We have an exotic. All right. Keep it is the vote, you guys. So... 221 votes thank you so much for everyone who voted and thank you to everyone hitting that like button you guys are freaking awesome thank you so much and we are going to keep it so we're going to scrap the pillar the radiant pillar oh well we'll buy some more uh more of that we're going to scrap the radiant pillar and get all the pieces from it that way we can buy some stuff to upgrade or to fix our exotic. Thank you. Thank you. Blair says, think about this, folks. Jason has the cost for everything cranked out to the max on this difficulty. Not worth fixing it up. I know. I know. I was trying to get everyone to follow me, but you know. <laughs> it, they want to make my life difficult. And I, I, I can understand that, Blair. I can understand that. It's going to be insane because everything costs more to buy. So we have that aspect of it. The other, th what is going on here? Okay, wait a minute, we have a, we have Artemis, there we go. You are not alone. It was inevitable. Yeah, so uh, that's why I'm scrapping my pillar. That way I can get my radiant pillar. That way I can get some money so I can buy some stuff to upgrade. Oh my God, we're gonna crash into it. Jeez, no, 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 no. That's uh, Artemis storyline. Let's get in here. Oh, God. So I'm going to scrap this thing, sell all my resources so I can buy <laughs> anything. Um. Oh, God. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna have to get rid of some stuff here. We can get rid of that if we need to. We can also get rid of my, uh, my am ammunition. I can get rid of my cobalt. There's only three of them. It's not a big deal. So we're going to see. We're going to see where we got to go. Fixes that are fully, uh, fixes it fully. Achievement of Jason fixes it fully. Oh, that's the goal. That is the goal, is I'm going to fix that thing up 100%. We're going to claim the scrap. I'm going to get 3 million. I'm going to get 3 million out of this, which is good. That's a decent amount of money. And we had enough room, thank God. All right. So we're going to sell some upgrades here. Let's see. What upgrades did we get? We got a cyclotron module. Phase beam and a starship shield module. Actually, you know what? We get some materials for that. So instead, we're gonna install it and then delete it, because it'll give me my uh, wiring loom. That's what we're that's what we're looking for. Boom! Wiring loom on this stuff. There we go. There we go. Okay, so then we could sell this stuff. We could buy some materials that we're gonna need to fix our uh, our amazing amazing exotic. I don't know how much we're going to be able to fix, though, you guys. So that's why we're going to jump in here and see what the heck is going on. We're going to sell nanotubes, the scraps. Where'd my other stuff go? Where'd my other stuff go? I thought I had three, no? Did I not have three? I guess I only had two. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we're at 3.8 million. How long will this stream be? Oh, hoopty doopty. It's going to be at least another hour and a half. Another hour and a half at least. Uh, is it worth fixing a ship before scrapping it? Oh, presumably on normal mode, 100% fix it. If it's an S-Class, fix it. 
Unless, you know, when you're capped out, like you have too many ships. Okay, then you can get picky. But right now, this is the only... I only had two ships. Or I only had one. This would be my second. This one is worth it. I'm not going to... It costs a lot of nanites to upgrade from a, a C or a B to an S. So, always worth it to auto... If you already have one, always worth it to just use whatever you got. There we go on that. All right, so... We need paraffinium. And do we have any paraffinium here? We have a lot of chromatic metal. We'll take that. So we start breaking out some of this chromatic metal stuff. There we go. There we go. Magnetized ferrite, platinum, platinum, magnetized ferrite, and chlorine. We need a lot of chlorine. Paraffinium, paraffinium. Um, chromatic metal. We need magnetized. Oof. Gold, gold, gold. Nothing needs copper, right? Okay, of course not. We need wiring looms, wiring looms, wiring looms. Oh my god. And wiring looms cost a lot of money, you guys. That's the other thing that's going to kill me. All that wiring loom. Dioxide. Pure ferrite. Okay, so we need some dioxide. Do we have any here? I, don't, I didn't see any. Um, no. We have more chromatic metal. We have more gold here. Uh, wiring loom. 300 a piece. 1.8 million. There you go. That's expensive. That's expensive. Where did it go? Where did all my... There it is. Chromatic metal and wiring loom. There we go. Now, the other thing you can do is if you go to a derelict freighter, you can get repair parts. And repair parts will make it easier to repair. So that might be what we do here. You need a lot of repair parts, though. Platinum, wiring loom. Okay. So now the other thing we have to do... Are these the same thing? Leg meat, meat, meat chunks? No, no. Okay. There we... Oh, we need to sell that. Duh. We have that. We can sell that. Sell my uh, salvage data. Two microprocessors. Sure. That salt we can turn into uh, to uh, chlorine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sell that chunky meat. Uh, sell that ammo. Okay. What is it telling me to make? What is it? What are we making? Oh, we have an advanced mining laser. I can't make any of that, but okay. All right. Also, pirates sell repair kits. Oh, do they really? I did not know that they sell repair kits at a pirate station. We're going to have to check that out and get crushed by that uh, that hauler right there. All right, you guys. So, let's see if we can find a... Uh, let's see if we can find a pirate system around us. I don't have a very upgraded... I don't have any upgrades on my hyperdrive. However, we should... Let me see. Oh, let's, let's unpin that. Get out of here. Locate a long distance transmitter. That's for Artemis. So what we need to do is, let's go in here. Let's see if we have a pirate system near us. So you're looking for, you see all that above me? I am looking for a pirate uh, head. Oh, I don't even have an economy scanner. Crap. I don't even have an economy scanner. Dang it. Let's do that. Can I make one? I don't think I can. Nope. I can't even make one. Crap. I have 124 nanites. This is going to be rough. This is going to be rough. Actually, we can put this over here. That over there. That over there. That over there. This stays over here with me. That over there. We have a lot of gold. Um, boom, boom, boom. I need it. Uh, repair broken inventory slots. Yes, yes. A repair kit will repair a broken inventory slot. You can get it in multiple different locations. However, easiest one that I can remember is getting a... Uh, if you use an exploit, you can get a whole bunch of derelict freighters and just keep doing that over and over and getting a whole bunch of repair kits. Or if you go to a pirate system, you could do that. Let's see. This will give me something. Uh, 112. I'll take that. Where you at, buddy? I have I have good shields. That's the only reason why I came after this guy. I got a shield upgrade, so I should be okay. 
Oh, speaking of that, actually, we need to shoot some asteroids. We need to get some platinum, so that's a good plan to do that. You can buy all the stuff as well. Depending on the system you go into, you can buy everything. However, it's going to be real expensive. So it's always, always better to just farm it when you can. Give me this. No, don't get your shield back. You're out of here. I got another shield. But yeah, if you're looking for platinum, you're looking for a crystallized uh, asteroid. I don't see any here. So let's just shoot these guys. There we go. There we go. So the other thing we can do... I don't think I have... I don't have a weapon that I can use on my, my multi-tool. So we're going to have to actually back it up off of that. Yeah, you're looking for crystals. They would give you a ton of platinum. I'm not seeing any crystals out here. Let's get in here. My point was, how is it that playing the game? Oh, what? Is this save like permadeath? Jonesy, it is almost. Everything, all the all the settings are set to the most extreme, except if I die, instead of erasing my save, if I die, it'll just get rid of my inventory. So I lose everything in my inventory. Speaking of that, we need to move some of this stuff over. Okay, that should be good. So you don't want to die. You, it destroys everything in your inventory. But I get to keep my save, so I don't, like, die and magically I'm, like, done. <laughs> I get to keep my save. I need dioxide. I should go to a cold planet, actually, if I was actually being smart. There we go. So we're looking for paraffinium. Usually this system, this kind of a planet would have paraffinium. We need a lot of paraffinium. We need a lot of wiring loom. We need a lot of that stuff. But paraffinium, that's what we really want. So copper, salt, salt. Yeah, paraffinium, right? Okay, yeah, I, I did see paraffinium. There it is, okay. Paraffinium is, I guess, over there. There it is. Let me scan these big worms, flying worms. There we go. At least the Sentinels are not aggressive on this planet, thank God. Let's go towards the Paraffinium. I did mark it, right? What? Did I not mark the Paraffinium? Paraffinium, where are you? There's a floating crystal over there, but we need our advanced mining laser for that. Okay, I could have sworn I marked that earlier, but I guess not. All right. Spampton says, uh, Jason plays shuttles are minivans for space. Hands down. Yes. They're very cheap. I mean, if you don't have a lot of money and you need or you run into a, a shuttle, dude, do it. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. However, they are the, the cheap uh, ships for a reason. <laughs> They're not the best at anything, really. They're decent, they're okay, but they're not the best. Let's get in here. We're gonna get all this uh, paraffinium because we need some paraffinium for to fix our ship. So that's why we came down here. You can find this usually on like grassy planets or like paradise planets, veridan planets, something like that. A planet that doesn't have any like really bad feature other than like hot storms. So like on a cold planet, you generally, generally you're not going to run into paraffinium on a cold planet or a hot or a toxic or anything like that. How much paraffinium do we have? 149. We need a lot of paraffinium. I think it's 150 each one. There we go. We're getting all of it. We're cleaning it all up. And yes, my uh, my game, I have it set to extreme, so my inventory is very limited. 
Not the number of slots, but on a normal save, you get 9,999 like paraffinium or carbon or anything like that. I maxed out at 300, so it's really, really difficult. You can't just pile up a whole bunch of materials in one slot. You need multiple slots for all that stuff. I have 283, so I can start getting some of this stuff done. In, I want to do my general first. I feel like I'm going to run out of room in my general before anything else. Chlorine. We need some salt. Um, we have all this. Paraffinium. There we go. So we're looking for the green uh, acid looking ones. Oh my god, I still don't have enough of that. Alright. Need a lot of wiring loom, need a lot of pure ferrite. So let's put our uh, advanced mining laser in here. Carbon nanotube! Oh, I need a wiring loom. Dang it, I don't have a wiring loom. That's, what's some that's something I'm not going to be able to get. If you can't make a wiring loom, I wish you could, but you cannot. Look at this guy. Scan that moon. Scan that one. And that one. There we go, there we go, there we go. I'm trying to scan all the up. Oh, there's a buried mineral formation. Usually these are pretty good things hopefully let's see give me that uh storming planet now i don't know about that legendary says i don't know if you've ever seen a crashed exotic that has got to be a pain to repair oh dude it is and especially on i my i have my difficulty set to max to extreme so it is even more of a pain because usually all you got to do is like either buy all the materials because it's cheap enough to buy them or you can just you hop into a uh, pirate system and buy repair kits repair kits are going to be more expensive and the uh the materials aren't going to show up as often on extreme so it's even more difficult and they're going to cost more <laughs> so not only is it more difficult to find them it's more difficult to get them or buy them because they're more expensive Give me a good upgrade. What do I get out of there? Wait a minute. Let me get an upgrade out of there, please. For the love of God. I got nanites out of that, didn't I? There we go. No. Cargo drop. Salt deposit. I guess we're going to get some. No. Yeah, we need salt. So let's get the salt deposit because you can refine salt into, uh, uh, what is it? Chlorine. I mean, if I had a large or a medium refiner, I can also combine salt and, uh, or chlorine and oxygen. However, oxygen is hard to come by. Speaking of oxygen, let me grab that. Let me get my salt deposit over here. This I can turn into chlorine. Here we are. Beautiful. Dun, dun, dun. Beautiful. I need to get a uh, economy scanner so I can see where a pirate system is. I mean, I can just jump to it, but fuel cost is a lot. It's really heavy in extreme mode. So it's going to cost me a lot if I just want to jump from system to system looking for it. I would rather have an economy scanner, but I don't have that blueprint yet. So. Wait a minute. I have 200 nanites. I might be able to buy an economy scanner. Wait a minute. I might be able to do that. Do, do, do. Need 100% to summon. Great. Yep. See? 
fuel costs are insane. I scan all this stuff. Okay, we did. Yeah, give me that rock, sure. Give me that guy over there. Let me learn a word. There we go. 250 normal cost for the eco scanner. Oh, it's going to be more than that. I think it's going to be three to 500. I don't know if it's exactly doubled. It's going to be more. It'll probably be 300, maybe 350. So there you go. Beeble Bum says, of course, dying in luck. Of course. I, uh, dude, Beeble Bum, it's a weird. I get a weird thing. I'm like, I feel like I'm Domino. I get the best luck. But I also have the, I also die so often. <laughs> I also can get the most extremely bad luck. When my luck runs out, it runs out hard. <laughs> it runs out extremely hard. Uh, let's see, I can go to the space anomaly. I should, because I've made a lot of money. My milestones should get me there. Let's do, wait a minute, do they have my milestones? Um, yeah, I have my survival. My, yeah, my units accrued. So I am maxed out on my money. I've gotten a little bit. Oh yeah. We need to walk around a little bit more. Let's walk around a little bit more because if you have higher milestones, Ares will give you a lot of nanites for your milestones. So you want to do that. Uh, thank you for watching. Oh, you are not dying because of bad luck. <laughs> hey. Hey! <laughs> I like to blame it on bad luck, people bum. There we go. We'll scan that animal. So Ares is a uh, uh, traveler on the space anomaly. They will give you nanites depending on how high your milestones are. And so there's going to be a, a hard cap. Once you've reached the level 10 for all your milestones, they won't give you any more nanites. However, you can get a lot of nanites from Ares. So you want to make sure you're, uh, you're scanning creatures, doing all that kind of stuff. And Helios, the guy that looks like Groot, he will also give you a little bit of nanites, excuse me, for your scan data. So like if you scan plants, if you scan rocks, if you scan um, animals, he will give you a little bit. Like he'll give you like 100 or 200 or whatever. He won't give you a lot. Depending on, well, depending on how many animals and uh, rocks and plants you've scanned. But Ares will give you a good amount, depending on your milestones. There we go. You can also upload all, every discovery you've made and get a little bit of nanites for that. So speaking of that, let's go to my discoveries and we'll just upload everything all at once. So let's do this, upload all. 136 nanites, that's decent, that's decent. Where am I at for my uh, milestones? Uh, survival. I'm almost there for walking. I'm trying to get my one more level for walking around. That's what I'm trying to do. So we're going to scan some rocks while I'm out here. Or not. Oh, there we go. Uh, that is the most time in these uh, reason why Jason dies. Gravity. No, not anymore. Not recently, Beeble Bum. They got rid of a lot of the fall damage. So back in the day when we used to play permadeath, that was the number one cause of me d uh, dying was just falling and, and taking too much fall damage. Now they've, they, Sean is like, oh, okay. Uh, you know, I guess Jason dies a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to let him take a lot more fall damage. However, it's going to break all of his stuff. <laughs> so all of his tech upgrades will break, but he won't die immediately. So he'll just die slowly. <laughs> Come on. We almost there. Where we at? And up 100 more feet. Just ran around just a little bit. Just so I can get my freaking... Oh, duh. What I should be doing. Refining all of my dang uh, salt into uh, chlorine. 
Uh, put that in there. Get my chlorine. Oh, I have a... I have a stone here. What are we gonna get out of this? What did I get? Oh, I got a tritium cluster. Great. Okay, that's, that's not useful at all. Alright. Up. Oh, I need life support. Woof. I need life support. Life support gels. There we go. Can I... Can I put some more in there? Here's my other salt. Beautiful. There we go. I need a lot more of that chlorine. Uh, Michael says, Have you ever named anything before you've uploaded? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If... I generally, my own rule, my personal rule is I will upload everything. If I land on a planet, I want to make it my own planet. I will custom name things. So I had a, uh, an amazing green paradise planet that had mushrooms and stuff like the glowing fauna. I went through, I scanned everything I could possibly find. I spent like the afternoon trying to scan every plant, every rock, every animal. And... Once I did, I literally named all of them before I uploaded it. So it was Big Mushroom, Old Mushroom, Red Mushroom, Blue Mushroom. All of them were custom named. But yeah, for the most part, 99% of the time, I just uploaded. If I'm never going to come back to this planet, I'm never going to name it. So I don't care. Uh, I just want my name on it as the founder. So if someone else runs into this system, they say, oh, Jason was here. Because if you guys did not know, it'll tell you not only... Let me get going in here. Not only will it tell you who found the planet or whatever you're on, like the area you're on, like it says right here, found today by Jason Plays. It'll tell you when they found it. So you might run into a system that says, oh yeah, found by Jason Plays, September of 2017. So you could find, you could run into a planet that someone found five years ago, six years ago, which is really, really cool. So that's why I generally I'll upload just because I wanna I wanna make sure someone knows, oh Jason found this way back in 2023. So like 10 years from now, if someone's playing through No Man's Sky, they can come in here and go, oh, look at that. Jason found this, you know, back in 2023. That's awesome. And John, thank you for the super sticker. Much appreciated. One up. I wanna say Spect. John Spect. Thank you so much. That might be mispronouncing your last name, but thank you. 07 for John and the super sticker. Oh, yeah. Let's go to Aries. Let's get some of our uh, nanites. Let's see if we can get everything. I have a feeling we're not going to get a lot, but yeah, you never know. Come on. This is Helios. He'll give you a little bit for like your animals or your, your plants or whatever. So today he wants creatures. So any animals you scanned, he'll give you a little bit of nanites. And there they are. So I got 45. Not a lot, but anything helps. Who's this Jason dude? <laughs> I know, right? Uh, and if you've run into one of my systems, you'll probably run into one of my portable uh, refiners that I accidentally left. <laughs> I, have lo I have left so many portable refiners on planets or inside buildings. Or it's terrible. Let's see. I got 600 nanites out of that. There we go. So now we're up to... 984 nanites. We got a lot of nanites. We need a... Uh, we need to get a freaking scanner. So an economy scanner from over here. Let's see how much it costs. Hopefully it's cheap enough, but we'll find out. Um, We need... Oh, God. 375, and then an economy scanner is another 375. That's all my nanites. Okay. Okay. Well, we need it. So let's do that real quick. I have to. I have to. But I need that economy scanner. That way I can find a uh, pirate system. And then we can farm a whole bunch of uh, repair kits. So. Oh, God. Really? Why do you? I hate that they pin recipes. I'm good. Thank you. All right. So we have our economy scanner. We need microprocessors and one wiring loom. We don't have that much money. Don't have that much money. And I wish they had a market on the space station. I really wish they would have a market here. They don't. You have to go to the space, uh, the space. Anomaly had a market. The space station does. 
but the space anomaly you could only buy upgrades you cannot buy any uh any like items any things you need to upgrade your stuff dr pong thank you so much for the super chat freaking a dr pong very much appreciated and uh she says i just dm'd you two images on twitter new uh quicksilver helmets look now oh really let me get in there dr pong i will i want to see i i know that i've seen the geck helmet dr pong but i haven't seen the second one huh that's not new the xbox one that's not the exo helmet is that do they unlock it for everyone dr pong wait a minute i've seen the xbox helmet i i have seen the blazing orbital but i didn't know if that was out yet or not is that out now i need to check that oh god but yeah so the xbox helmet that's not new is it are they unlocking that for everybody oh i will totally buy that one if they have it in the quicksilver shop as far as i know the uh, xbox the xo helmet is only for pre-orders if you got the xbox version of no man's sky and you had to pre-order it way back in 2018 as far as i know i mean yeah you can save edit and get all that stuff not the uh quicksilver shop oh not in the quicksilver shop oh okay got you I'll, i was thinking maybe it was in the quicksilver shop that would be awesome but yes i have seen the xbox helmet i've seen both of those before i think what was it i think it was the update in february the vr the fractal update we saw those files but i hadn't seen the helmets before oh yeah you guys if you guys want to see the helmets i can show you guys we've we've already seen them before let me let me grab these i could download that real fast come on save it oh wait a minute save it as there we go sorry i gotta save it as save i know so if you guys want to see the helmets that dr pong just showed me let me add one more too sorry i know the phone call is killing me oh it doesn't oh, the freaking file size is not the right one well here i'll just do a good screenshot then i'll just do it the old school way excuse me sorry guys sorry gonna do this uh save as blaze helmet okay that phone call is gonna kill me all right i get it i get it incoming distress oh look at this wait a minute speaking of the pirate systems we could do our pirate missions now i'm gonna do that a little bit later let me let me land real fast Twitter's file is killing me over here. That's what's that's what's stopping me. And then screenshot this one. So Xbox helmet. So guys, let me throw this in there. This is the new helmet that they are adding. It, we saw it, I think it came in the fractal update. So that is the new helmet coming. I saw it in red, but Dr. Pong, but yes, that is a cool looking helmet. I love that helmet. However, the other helmet you showed is this one over here. This is the original, if you pre-ordered the game on Xbox back in 2018, this is the Xbox helmet. So you cannot get it now. I don't think you'll ever be able to get this helmet anymore. I mean, you can always save, edit, and get all that kind of stuff. So, but you can't, there's no way to get this helmet, this specific Xbox helmet. There's no way to get that in the game right now. So I was hoping maybe in the future they could, like, they'll let us buy it. I don't know. In the Quicksilver shop, but nope, not yet. Yeah, when I pause the live stream now, I'm like 20 minutes behind. No, you gotta, you gotta go live. Gotta go live. Anyway. Those two helmets are looking pretty awesome. That first one, the blazing helmet, that one looks pretty cool. I like that one. What were, you, what were we coming here for? Oh yeah, we're gonna sell some stuff, right? Or buy some stuff? <laughs> I don't even know what we're coming here for. Oh yeah, we need to we need to put in our uh, we need to install our economy scanner. Duh. 
So do I do I even have one? I do. Okay, so we need my microprocessors and a wiring loom. Got it. So an easy way to get a wiring loom. Let's see if I can do it. I might not have enough nanites. So the easy way to get it is to oh wait, wait a minute. I can't buy an exocraft one. Buy a really cheap upgrade because when you uh destroy it, it will actually give you what's it called? It'll give you a wiring loom back. So let's pop that in there. And then when you destroy it, I will get cadmium, deuterium, and one wiring loom. There you are. So that's my one wiring loom. What the? Are you serious? Did it not give me back my wiring loom? If you destroy an item, it does not give you your items back? Are you freaking serious? Oh, I'm gonna be mad. Does it not give you? Oh, wait a minute, give me some deuterium. I have the deuterium, where's my wiring loom? Did I need space in here? Wait a minute, did I not have enough room? Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm gonna be mad. Inventory's full. Need room in the inventory for it to work. Guys, I have all the room in the planet right here. I have all the room in the planet right here because I don't have it in my mother trucker. I just wasted my freaking nanites on that. Let's see. Can I buy another one? I don't think I can. Uh, I need 136. Mother trucker. Why? If I don't have enough room in my ship, I literally am standing there. Why not give it to my inventory? This game makes me angry sometimes. This game makes me angry sometimes. I need this. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I mean, do we, how many do we need? We don't need five, do we? Oh, yeah, we do need five. We do need five. Two, three, four, five. One wiring loom is 300 freaking thousand. I'm just done with this. I'm done with this. Let's build this thing. All right, so now we have an economy scanner. Well, while we're here, let's buy some freaking uh, uranium. Do we have uranium here? No, I don't. Oh, yeah, I had to get it earlier. Okay. All that stuff. We have all the gold. All right, we need some repair kits. Let's go to a pirate system. Now that we can see where uh, what a pirate system will be... Uh, wait, I'm dumb. Never mind. Uh, no, dang it. When you destroy a technology, it's random, I think. It should not. You dismantled it in your ship, not your exosuit. I know, but Beeble Bomb, if I have, if I have ferrite dust, or if I have an item and then I collect it, it goes wherever it was, right? It should be interchangeable. <laughs> if I destroy a technology in my multi-tool, does it stay in my multi-tool? No. It automatically goes to your suit. So why can't anything else go to your suit? Come on! The rules change depending on if they like it or not. That's the problem I have. That's a dissident system. We can go here. Um, I'm looking for a pirate system, though. No. 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 Ooh, that's a good system. That's a three-star system. Uh, we don't have any pirate systems nearby, do we? I'm looking for... What I'm looking for, I'll show you guys when we find one. There should be a little skull right, right right there. So you guys could probably not see that on YouTube because it's really, really, really small. However, there's a little tiny skull next to the economy. So I know this is a pirate system. I'm getting out of here. How long have you been playing No Man's Sky now? I mean, I made a t-shirt about this. <laughs> I have been playing forever, but I always have room on my inventory. I've never run into... Well, I shouldn't say I never. Generally, I don't run into that issue, Beeble Bum, because, you know, I always have room. So there we go, Outlaw Station. So yes, you want to find a, a system that has a skull on it. So now we know, and now you can see the big skull right there. But you just look for a system that has a little tiny skull next to the economy symbol. That's why you get the economy scanner. If you don't have an economy scanner, you won't know. There, there's another one right there. That's a, a system. You see how there's a there's the uh, the the oh, what would you call that? Not the hatchet, the pickaxe. 
There's a pickaxe right there, but there's a little tiny skull right next to the pickaxe. So you want to look for that kind of a system. Early on, I mean, once you once you have like the conflict scanner, it'll be larger and easier to see. Warning, not all pirates sell repair kits. I know, I know. I'm hoping, I'm hoping this one does and I hope they're not too expensive. That's the other thing. I only have one million, so they might be too expensive for me to even buy. So that'll be the other problem. I run into something I can't even buy because I can't afford it. Here we go. Just to get some of my inventory cleaned up because it's driving me crazy. And the fact that I can't destroy a upgrade and get my freaking stuff back. It's pissing me off. All right. So we have all that done. We have gold for that. Um, chromatic metal for that. We need some wiring. There. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to fix the things I can because a repair kit will only fix one of your slots. So if I had, if I had one repair kit, I'd have to pick one or the other one piece. You can only use one repair kit for each broken item. So repair kit here. If I had two, I could repair that and that and be good to go. If I had five or 10, I can repair five or 10 different pieces. So I'm trying to limit how many I need because I have a lot of, I have a lot of stuff already here. Done, done. All right. So I just need a few repair kits. Let's see if I can get one. Please have repair kits. Yeah, and they're cheap. They're only 152. I thought they were gonna be five, uh, 500,000 a piece. Thank God. So I can buy seven of them. So I know they're 150,000 a piece. So we have all of that. Oh man, I'm feeling good now. Thank God. So now all I have to do is repair kit on this. That's done. Repair kit on this. That's done. See, I'm just clearing it all out now. Repair kit on this. Done. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's McDonald's all over the place. All right. Can I use a repair kit? Yes, I can. And do I have one more? I think that's it for my repair kits. Yeah, I don't have any more repair kits, but I cleared up a lot of room in here. I cleared up a lot of room in here. I love it. So then we can do that. That's gold down there. Tritium. So yeah, we are solid. Lots of room. Lots of room. And so I could just gain a lot of money. I mean, I can also just go through here and go pop, pop, pop. Pop it in there. That way we're just done with all this stuff. And so I don't need, need to use as much repair kits. So I don't need to use as many repair kits when I use all this. There we go. Chlorine 10. There we go. All right. So I need to make some more money. Oh, look at this. The doomed. Okay. I have 103 nanites. I don't have a lot of nanites. That's fine. Let's go get some more money. Time to be a pirate and make a ton of money. Blair, 100%. I found a good system. I can do a whole bunch of stuff. So... Oh, this is someone else's, uh... This is someone else's, uh, freighter. I don't want to attack your freighter, Stellan. But... Your freighter is just really tempting. I want to shoot that. Okay, so let's get over here. What, what system... What planets do we have in here? Do we have anything good? We have salvageable scrap down there. That's pretty good. What is this planet? Is this a paradise planet? A flourishing planet! And I think that's it. We only have two? I think we only have two planets in the system. Alright, so now we have to look for any kind of uh, awesome... Come on. Come launch in here. There you are. Well, let's go after this because we're close to the uh, space uh, the space station. So what I'm going to do is a, a, a flyby. I'm just going to destroy the frigate. Get the materials out of there and then run over to the space station, which is right there. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do because I'm a chicken and I just want to... Does this one not have anything good? Do you not? Have, I guess you have spawn relics. 
Banned weapons. Thank you. Thank you. Get out of here, defense turret. Do we have any more? I don't think he has any more. Okay, you're done. Let's go over here. Dun dun dun. First spawn relics. There we go. Gold! We need gold anyway, so yeah, I'll use that. And we're just gonna hit and run. Hit and run. Ionized cobalt. That's good. We can use that. Magnetized ferrite. We do need that, so I'll take that. I'm not a lot, though. They're not giving me a lot of stuff. A 20? 20 magnetized ferrite? Are you serious? That feels like a ripoff. First spawn relic. Nanites. I'm just trying to stay away from this stuff for too long because I don't want counterfeit circuits. We can sell that for money. Uranium. I'll take that. <laughs> Cormax rank number two for, for killing this freighter. Okay. Freighter fuel. Oh, I'm lowering. I'm lowering my uh, standing. Okay. I thought it was increasing. They're not liking me. They're not liking me at all. The Corvax are really not liking me. These poor Corvax, they're like, what is going on? Why do you hate us? Here we go. There we go. This, I don't even think this thing has one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's shooting me? I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get all your cargo. Come on. Why are you going to make this difficult? <laughs> yeah, something about his mom bowling. What? <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Oh. Wow. That's, a, that's an explosion. Prismatic feathers. That's not a, uh, I thought that was a, a little cargo guy here. No. Gold. Magnetized ferrite. Not get a lot of magnetized ferrite out of these guys. Counterfeit circuits. Here we go. All right, let's go back to the space station. Now that everyone's mad at me, uh, my standing with the Corvax is like z like below zero at this point. Ironic that Jason reads uh, Chris's messages about bowling, but not Spamtons. I know. I didn't see Spamtons. <laughs> Let me get in here. I didn't. Well, I, I missed it at this point. I don't even see it. You don't have to run, Jason. The Sentinels do not have to come to the pirate system. That's true. But I still feel like I need to run. That way it's like legitimate. And there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. We're going to have a ton. We got a lot of magnetized ferrite. So, oh, my God. We still need more. Are you serious? We have that one. We have that one. All right. The one thing I will say is that you need to wait for it to respawn. Because, you know, it doesn't refill. Like, I still. Oh, one out of six. That's refilling faster than I thought. Okay, never mind. I take it back. I thought it was going to be slower than that. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. We got some platinum. I thought it was going to be slower than that. We had six of them now. We're good. Um, We can use these. We can buy these and make some nanites out of that. Suspicious arms. Uh, let's do that. So let's do technology arms here. All right. So let's see what we got. We got some infra knife modules. We install it, then take it out. Install it, take it out. That way we can get, some, we, we're going to get our wiring loom. That's what we're doing. I'm purposely installing and destroying stuff like that. Get rid of that. There we go. Oh, it's a bolt caster upgrade. Eventually, when we get a bolt caster. <laughs> oh, that's a good one! Never mind. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep this one. That's a good bolt caster upgrade. Ooh. We're going to be making a bolt caster, you guys. Up. Oh, suspicious scanner module. Are you serious? I'm getting all the good stuff here. All right. Oh, that's a good one! Not the best. That's a decent one, though. That's a decent one. I'll take that. I'll take that. And then we have a uh, hazard protection module. Decent, decent. Not the best. These aren't, none of these are really like better than S class. They're like an A class, maybe a little bit like a lower end S class. 
But they're still dang good. They're still dang good. All right, so we have some wiring looms. I know when he's going to read about the chat. What the heck? How do you know that? How do you know that? There is a trick to the to message on the right time to get Jason to read it. No, you don't know it. I Actually, it's not a trick on timing. It's a trick on the color of your uh, name. I usually try to read out the green names first because green means you're a member and I want to give members preference. But I also read the blue ones as well because those are my mods. And if anything's going on, I want to be able to check out my mods and see what the heck is happening. You have a perfectly timed, huh, Beeble Bum? Nope. <laughs> there is a tell. No, there's not. I mean, literally doing this and doing this and doing this. Yes. When I look in this direction, I'm looking at the chat. <laughs> Jason reads mods last. No, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right. We have some of these done already. So let's do this. Let's do that. There we go. Um, we have some of these. We have that done. Man, we're doing pretty solidly. Oh, I don't have any more repair kits. Dang it. Dang it. All right. So we did buy a whole bunch of... We have this. We can refine that. This. We can refine some of these. This needs to go down here. Okay. All right. All right. We don't need that Mordite stuff. Goes on my ship. Airfinium over here. Chlorine right there. We don't need this. All right. I'm feeling decent, guys. I'm feeling pretty good. So we need to start working on some of these up here. We need to make more money. So we have a new scanner. We also have some uh, hazard protection upgrades. Hey, it's fun hanging out, but I've got to go. Gaming Legends, thank you for hanging out, everyone. Thank you for hitting the like button. I want to say hit the like button, but don't. We're at 420 likes. That's perfect. That is perfect. 420. We're at 420 likes. That's the best right there. Perfect. Don't need any more likes, guys. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. I, I love it. That's amazing. Let's see if I can get this guy. He is a higher level. Oh, man. Look at this. Oh, my God. Look at that shield. That might have been wrong. That might have been the wrong decision, you guys, because, oh, my God, look at the shield. His shield is just going to... He's going to murder me. Oh, God. Just going to stay on him. Don't overheat. Do not overheat my weapons on this guy, because he's... Oh, my God. Look at this. He is... His shields are real good. All right. Come on. We're going to get 300,000 for doing this, though. So I don't know if it's worth it. I need to upgrade my ship a little bit more before we start doing this kind of stuff. All right. Oh. Hey, 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 slow down. I'm trying to kill you. Slow down. Don't try to actually be tough. Come on. Here we go. Give me something good. Uh, suspicious packet of arms. I got a... Scatter blaster module. Okay. Let me pop that off. There we go. What do I get out of there? I got a whole bunch of magnetized ferret. That's what I got. Yes. And yeah, we'll keep it there. Okay. So do I need any more magnetized ferret? Platinum, platinum. Uh, magnetized ferret. We'll do that. That way, that one's done. That one's legitly done. Um, That one's close. Yeah, see, we're getting there. We're getting there. Well, Moon Ether, I'll take you. Uranium. I'll take all of this stuff. I can make some freaking money. I don't think that this is not somebody's... This is not a player one, right? Nope, that's just a normal one. Okay. I don't want to attack a player uh, freighter because that's, like, that's kind of rude. I won't do that. But if it's a NPC, I will attack it all day long. Magnetized ferrite. Look at all the magnetized ferrite we're going to get. Stolen DNA. That's kind of gross. Magnetized ferrite. I've already cleared that one out, but we need this. Uranium. I'll take that. Magnetized ferrite. Oh, look at this little frigate down here. 
Really? No? Uh, for your fruit fuel? I'm trying to be sneaky about looking at the chat. <laughs> I don't know. I can't, like... I can't, like, not move my head. One of these days, I'll be cool, and I'll just move the chat to my my main screen. That way, I don't have to look over here, so you guys don't even know. Uh, Jason, ever had to poop really, really bad during a stream? Maybe once. Maybe once. When we were doing the Insanity stream, where we were streaming for six days straight. We did six days straight of streaming that one. I had a couple times where I was like, I gotta go! And then I kept, like, talking. And so I was, like, delaying it and delaying it. And I was finally like, dude, I have to. Thankfully, thankfully, my bathroom is about 20 feet in that direction. So it takes me less than 30 seconds to get there. So not a big deal. Like, if I have an emergency, I can run real fast and get there. But you never want to accidentally do something. <laughs> uh, you never want to be in that situation. My God, there are so many of these guys. It's crazy. Counterfeit circuits. We're about to make a ton of money, you guys. Get out of here. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that's blue. Oh, Stellan. That's you. Sorry, I'm not shooting you, Stellan. I promise. That's not it. Okay, fine. Uh, random freighter. So I'm going to take all of your stuff there, random freighter. I'm going to shoot you in the freighter balls. There we go. Oh, my God. The middle just disappeared. Oh, man. That's not normal. That's not normal. That's not what you want to see. That should not be happening. <laughs> the freighter middle just disappeared. That's not normal. Man, that's, this freighter's having a bad time. Look at that. Just no, no interior in the middle. It's just gone. Just gone. Freighter balls. Uh, Chris says, Jason, Coke's prepared his stream and it depends. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It depends. <laughs> oh. No, uh, well, I was in radio for a long, long time. So when I was in radio, they first, they start you out with a really terrible overnight, the graveyard shift. So I was there. I wasn't really responsible for a show in radio. I was more in charge of making sure everything was running correctly. So I would make sure all the commercials were playing and all that kind of stuff overnight in the graveyard shift. So I would be there from like 10 o'clock at night until like five, six in the morning, just making sure everything was playing correctly. Then, after a couple of years of doing that, they promoted me and I became a producer and a show host. And basically, I had to go in at uh, between 3 and 4 in the morning, prepare my show, because our show started at 5. And at 5, I would do the news. And then, I would do the news from 5 a.m. until 8 a.m., 8.30, so three and a half hours of live news. It's just constantly, this is what's going on. This is the traffic report. This is the weather, all that kind of stuff. And then from 8.30 until 10, there was a talk show that I was doing. So there was a good, like, five or six hours where you could not leave. Like, you could, you, like, you could run for a commercial break if you really had to go to the bathroom. You had about two minutes for a commercial break, but that's running to the bathroom and coming back, you know, doing your thing, coming back. You had two minutes total. So it was kind of like, hey, make sure you go to the bathroom before your show starts, and then... You have five, six, seven hours of just straight up, don't move. You're just in that studio until you're done. And so after doing that for a few years, you kind of train your uh, your bladder. You train everything to kind of, you can wait. You can kind of figure it out and be like, okay, I can, I can wait for this long or that long. Give me that, give me that. I think we're pretty good. Let's go back to the space station and uh, sell some stuff. Is it too close? Okay, dang it. Uh, Jason, Heather wants to know, what did you do for chat to start talking about pooping during streams? I have no idea. 
<laughs> I have no idea. I think it's because I just wa I, uh, read. I read a chat, and so when I, whenever, you know, the the live streamer talks about something, then the chat kind of talks about it. So I read the chat. So I generally, I'll just look over and read something. I try to filter, but sometimes it doesn't click in my head. And I mean, poop is poop. <laughs> it's fine. It means you can't buy TI. What? Uh, cooks prepared stream that depends on. Oh, we started about. We started talking about depends. <laughs> That's what was about pooping. <laughs> That's why we were talking about depends. Stolen DNA. Um, moon ether, prismatic. That. Look at that. We have some salvage frigate modules. We can sell that first on relics. Gra gra. Counterfeit weapon or ban weapons. There we go. Oh, man, we got so much. We're good. A lot of cadmium. We're going to be making a lot of chromatic metal, you guys. So I'm excited about that. We got a chromatic metal like crazy. And then we can buy a whole bunch of repair kits. We're up to 3 million. Uh, suspicious packet of goods. I'll take that, I guess. Um, arms, yes. And tech, yes. So we're looking for upgrades here. Uh, movement module. That's a jetpack module. I'll take it no matter what it is. Uh, pulse engine module. Let's see what this one is. Um, that's a good one. That's a good one. We're going to keep that one. Holy mackerel. That's a good one. Um, we got a repair kit out of that one. I like it. Uh, blaze javelin. We are going to destroy that. That's a junk. That is absolute junk. Positron ejector module. Eh. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Um, that one, we'll get rid of that, no matter what. Uh, geology cannon, we're not using that, so we'll get rid of that one. And photon cannon, uh, we'll keep this one, because we already have a photon cannon, so I'll keep that for now. Damage plus 3%, I'll take that. That's not the best, but hey, it works. Alrighty, so let's clean up the rest of our general inventory. We have enough platinum for this one. And it, why did it just back out like that? Okay. Here we go. We have, I want to, you know, I want to try to knock out everything we can without repair kits, but if we need to, all right, general is done. General inventory is done. We need to repair this real fast. That way we can move our uh, pulse drive over there. There we go. And we have two more. We have two more. So I know we had one that we already repaired, so that's one more on that. Uh, magnetized ferrites, we'll do that one. Magnetized ferrite, we do that one. Oh my god, we're gonna be so freaking good. That one. Platinum is hard to come by, so we'll use it for that one. All right. Guys, holy mackerel. Seriously. Oh man, we're good, we're good, we're good. Look at that, we are knocking it out. We're going to have a fully fixed ship in no time, you guys. Look at this. Knocking it all out of there. All right. We need to start making some uh, chromatic metal from all that cadmium we just had. So what we need to do... Oh, I need to buy my, my backpack refiner. Oh, we need to sell some of this stuff. I don't think we need the chlorine anymore. Dr. Pong with the super chat. Thank you so much, Dr. Pong. Derp about the X helmet. Never seen the other one. Oh! No worries, no worries. I mean, they are brand new for a lot of people. You don't see the X helmet very often, so there's not a lot of players that pre-ordered No Man's Sky to get the X helmet. So that's very, very cool. The Blaze helmet, that one, I think, I might be wrong. I think Assistant No Man's Sky, he usually can go through and he'll get the game files. And I believe that one came out with the uh, Fractal update. So back in February, we saw that in the game files. Well, it was cracked in the game files. So when that one's going to unlock, who knows? I don't know when that's going to be up, but it's coming. That one we will see. The X, X helmet, I mean, I would hope for that to happen, but more than likely that'll just be a uh, Xbox thing. But 07 for Dr. Pong in the chat. Thank you so very much. Okay, headed out. Well, thank you, Midnight Gamer. Very much appreciated. Legendary says, hey, Jason, how fast can you complete No Man's Sky from start to finish? Just curious. How fast? I would say on average, on average, somebody can finish No Man's Sky. Probably, if you if you mean like the Artemis storyline, the Atlas Seeds, and the um, 
Artemis, Atlas Seeds, maybe 15 hours? 15? I know, I think I've done it in about 15, maybe 20 hours. Maybe 20 hours at the, at the, at the like farthest reaches, 20 hours. But on average, it would be 15. If you want to rush it, you could probably get it done in under 10 hours. If you really, really rush it, you can get it done in under 10. For sure. But I think averagely, a normal person just going through the game, it's going to take you 15 hours, about 15, 20 hours to do just the mainline stuff. I'm not talking about anything fancy, just the mainline Artemis storyline, the Atlas Seeds, that kind of stuff. The save editor just updated. Nice. Very cool. There is no finish technically. Yeah, that's true. Alien art. Well, in No Man's Sky, we count as finished if you do all of the or Artemis storylines. So if you're doing all the Artemis stuff, you, you're, you're finished. So when you get done with that kind of stuff. Done and done. Oh, we can refine that into gold. All right, I think we're good on all of that. We need to sell this crystal lattice. Sell vector compressor. We'll sell the living pearl because screw it, why not, right? Where's my crystal lattice? There you are. And we got, I don't know if you guys saw it. We got three more repair kits. So I got three repair kits I can use. What can we use it on? What can we use it on? Um, this one, of course, because it only needs one more to go. This one, because it only needs one more to go. And does this one only need one? Yes, it does. So let's do that. Look at that. We are almost done. We have one, two, three more slots to clear out. And we're done, you guys. I'm loving it. This is so freaking good. All right. Man, three more and we're done. And we have a fully fixed S-Class. Ho Hoopty doopty. Says, Jason, can you turn on the setting that turns the screen black instead of white on transition? I think I already have that. Let me see. It's under accessibility. Uh, yeah, flash to white is disabled. So it should be doing that. Flash to white. So by default, certain screen transitions will flash briefly to a white screen. But... If you disable it, it'll fade to black instead. However, it's not for every one of them. They, for whatever reason, there's still some flashing to white and you can't control that. I hopefully they go through and they set it. It's just a weird bug or a glitch. So I have it. I always have that one. Just like I have my, my text is on large. That way it's easier for you guys to read it. Like I, I know a lot of people, they watch on their phone. So you need the text to be larger. So I always have my text enabled to be larger and my flash to white is disabled. So there's no flashing to white. Usually there's going to be a uh, weird cases where it happens. It's just, that's the game. Oh, well we have a, uh, we have an upgraded uh, photon cannon. Let's see what, how powerful it is. Let's see how powerful my photon cannon is. Now that I have my good up. Oh my God. Just crashed right into him. Yeah, not that good. <laughs> it is a sh it is a holler, and hollers have better shields, so that is something to keep in mind. However, I mean it's doing decently well. It's doing decently well. Oh, there we go. Corvax casing, beautiful. Let's go attack this this freighter. It just keeps calling in more and more supplies. Look at this. I keep attacking the same freighter over and over again. And it just feels like they keep resupplying. Like there's all these little tiny guys just hanging out. Like, give me that. Uranium. I mean, I'm going to get a whole bunch of uranium. That's good for launch fuel. I'm going to have a whole bunch of it. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go over here to the... Uh, oh, the freighter balls are still gone. So these are still gone. Oh, God. I'm stuck inside of it. I'm stuck inside the invisible freighter. All right. First spawn relics. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you're not supposed to shoot me. Let's 
Do I have a... Oh, no, this guy... You still have turrets? How do you have a turret still? Where's your turret at? Okay. That's weird. I thought I got all of his turrets, but I guess not. Give me all these. There we go on that one. I guess this defense turret is inside the uh, ship. Oh, that just disappeared the whole top end of the... Uh... Wow, okay. That's weird. Moon Ether. First spawn relics. Some frigate fuel. Really? Let me get your defense turret. You're gone. Oh no, they broke it! I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to repair that one for sure. Wow! 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 Let's put some more in there. Good lord. We have everything here. Okay, we're good on all this. Uranium. Good for launch fuel. Moon ether. There we go. Cargo pod. Doesn't even want to tell me what it is. Just give me cargo pod. That's fine. Prismatic feathers. Those are really good for money. There we go. Oh, this freighter's done. That one's toasted. I think we've cleared out this one. I think all the rest of these things are broken. That just feels weird. Why is there a turret in this? And then it just... That's a weird glitch. These things are glitching out. All right. These, uh... These frigates are freaking out here. Freaking out, man. I'm freaking out. All right. Let's shoot the rest of these turrets, I guess. Right here. Done. Done. Did I get all this stuff? I think I did. This one. I think I got this one. I think I've cleared out all these. Uh, I finally got all these, basically. Oh, no, no, no. This one still has it. That one still has them. There we go. There we go. Is that someone else's freighter? Nope. That's no one's freighter. Okay, good, good, good. What's up, bro? It's been a good year stream. Yes, a really in Sushun. Yes, a really good stream going on. We are we are kicking butt and taking names, man. We have a, a new extreme difficulty uh, save going on right now. However, I mean we have an S class already. We're about to max it out. This is not giving me anything. I guess not, huh? Nope. Okay. Fine. Whatever. I didn't want anything from you anyway. So yeah, I think man, we are doing freaking up phenomenal. Get a lot of chromatic metal. We're gonna have so much chromatic metal, it's crazy. I was hoping to get some nanites, but I don't think we're gonna have any. I mean, maybe we, we can get nanites. Give me that, give me that. We can just buy our nanites. Buy some, uh... Get that defense turret. There we go. Did I already clear this one out? I think I did. We can buy, like, the larval cores or the, uh... The eggs and just uh, refine those. Turn them into nanites. I think we've cleared out most of these, uh... Most of these guys here. Oh, this turret over here. That's weird. That's so weird, seeing that turret just not actually be there. Got that one. Chromatic metal. Alright, we should have a lot. Oh yeah, we got a lot. Look at all this stuff we got. Okay, we're good. Let's go sell it, get some more repair kits. And we will be totally fixed. Look at this. Almost fit. Nah, that thing's broken. That makes me upset. Oh, we have deuterium. We have all the stuff. We're good. We're good. I'll take all that. I could have just done that earlier. Why didn't I do that earlier? Pugnium, Pugnium, Pugnium. All right, so we need two four six repair kits six repair kits and we will be set let's sell everything we got oh are you on twitch as well mark i am on twitch as well i'm i don't stream there as often as i do on youtube so i'm trying to be better at that i'm not i'm not very good at it i'm still working on that but i am on twitch i have a twitch channel if you want to follow me over there I might be... Uh, we're looking into... I'm looking into streaming 
Zelda over on Twitch. On YouTube, that's a no-go just because uh, Nintendo is very finicky about what you stream and what you don't stream, and, and I don't want to risk my YouTube channel. However, my Twitch channel, I'm... I'm more willing, and I don't think they're as strict over on Twitch, but I need to look into it. I need to look into it before I say anything, like if I'm going to or not. Just because Twitch might be as strict, I don't know. Because I'm not as familiar with Twitch as I am with YouTube. I stream mostly on YouTube. Let's see what we got going on in here. Ooh, look at that, we got Emerald. Look at that, we have Emerald. We have a, is this a Boltcaster? Boltcaster module. Man, we're going to have so many good Boltcaster. Look at that. Well, look at that. We're so good on Boltcaster. We need to upgrade our multi-tool, though. All right. This is going to be our uh, hazard protection. <laughs> look at this hazard protection like crazy, guys. Oh, we're so good. So freaking good on hazard protection now. Blaze Javelin? Well, uh, no. We can sell that for nanites. I want to... I usually try to use them and break them. That way I can just get the, the materials out of them. Because I can get, like, silver, cadmium, wiring loom. I can get all that stuff. Wiring loom, because I'm playing on the extreme difficulty, wiring loom costs a lot. So that's why I'm trying to get that for free. <laughs> I'm trying to get that without, you know, buying it. I'm trying to just, you know, get it. Uh, you know, find it or scrap stuff and get it from there. All right, then we have two more of these. All right. Oh, I got a, I got literally warp fuel. There we go. So we are maxed. Look at that. We are good. So what I'm going to do is we are going to... We don't use hyperdrive very often. So instead, what we're going to do is do that, do that. We are going to put in our weapons in there. We have a good shield going on here. And... There we go. So that's how we're going to place it out. So I I space it out that way I could do all my photon cannon upgrades, all my weapon upgrades right here. You need a box, a square, basically. So photon cannon, photon cannon upgrade. So this big square and put one down here. This is my pulse engine upgrade. I want an upgrade on that. I should probably switch that around. Let's see. Actually, you know what? This is a good test, you guys. So maneuverability above my head. You see how it says 766? Let's check if I move these around. Let's see if it does anything. 766. And then 706. So it's more beneficial to have your upgrade in here versus your actual pulse engine. Same thing for your damage. You see my damage potential is 352. If I switch this out, I just moved one into the uh, end thing right there. 338. So pay attention to where you have your upgrades, not just if you have upgrades. So, depending on what you want, you're going to have to move your upgrades around a little bit. I will say for weapons, you want the core weapon in your supercharged slot. Because the weapon itself, will if you supercharge the weapon, it supercharges all the stats. If you supercharge the weapon upgrade, it'll only upgrade that stat. So, 3% damage, right? If I put it in a supercharged slot like that... It'll jump up to 4% damage, but it's only affecting the damage. It's not affecting the overheat. It's not affecting how fast it fires. So that's why you want to put your weapon in the supercharged slot versus your upgrades. So that's why in general, in general, not every weapon is like that. You might run into a few that are different. But general rule of thumb, put your actual item in there versus the upgrade item. Let me sell these. There we go. We have 1,400 nanites. We are rocking and rolling, you guys. Oh, right. We need to buy. Look at this. Look at that speedster. Oh, did you give me AI valves? Oh, I got I to gotta give that back to you. Tortellina. I would destroy this if I keep it, so I need to give it back to you. Where are you at, Tortellina? I don't want to kill it if you, you know, if I, if I can spare it. I can't accept it. I appreciate you, and I love you. Thank you so much. But I can't. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, Tortellina, but I can't take them. I can't take them because we're trying to do it kind of legit. So I'm, I am using stuff to my advantage, but I'm trying not to cheese the system per se. So, but I appreciate you. I thank you. Oh no, you went too far away, Tortellina. No, 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 no,
I appreciate you, Tortolina, though. Thank you. <laughs> I have to get rid of him, though. All right. All that being said... How do you, uh, how do I make it so I don't have to push and hold the select button? Oh, Adam! L Adam, go into your accessibility. Press pause. Go into your accessibility menu right here. And you'll see this thing that says hold to confirm. Change that. Now, there's different versions of it, like hold for important. So, it'll do it instantly if you hold the button. Like, if you go to delete something or move something, it'll do it instantly, except for important things like deleting items. It'll still make you hold the button down if you're deleting items, things like that. Or hold for destructive. So only destructive actions require the interact button to be held. So if you want to destroy something, that'll be the only thing that you have to hold down for. I always go with always instant because I'm a rebel. I, I, I like to accidentally destroy my stuff when I'm not paying attention. I like that ability. So I put everything as I just tap the button instead of holding it down. I tap it. It'll destroy stuff like my save. My main save I deleted and I wasn't paying attention. So be careful. You can select which version you want. Hold for important. So high impact items such as starting a new game, destructive actions like deleting things. That means you need to hold it down for those items. I go always instant. All right. I'm terrible. I know. I like to delete my save. Uh, plus the percentage of the upgrade goes over the supercharged main stat. Exactly, exactly. So it gets very, very deep when you're putting down upgrades. I would always say check out Zane's World. He has amazing information on how to upgrade, where to put your upgrades for all your technology. I would say check out Zane's World. He has amazing videos on that. I can give you general rules of thumb, but he will give you the details on exactly what to do, how to do it, and why you should be doing it. He will tell you exactly why. I'll just tell you in general, this is what I do. And in, in you know, in general, in general, in general. That's what I will do. <laughs> in general. <laughs> All right. So we have upgrades for our multi-tool. Oh, I didn't upgrade my multi-tool at all. You idiot. Hermetic seal and wiring. We have, well, we have the wiring, but we need hermetic seals and... We need a uh, carbon nanotube. How many do we need? Oh, we're just one of each. There we go. So now we, had an, we have an advanced mining tool. The other thing I want to do, we saw an, a dissident system. So where is my dissident system at? We saw it. I want to get my sentinel ship as well. Uh, water and a sentinel multi-tool if we can. So we were here. And I was looking. Water. Water, 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 water. Dissident, there it is. There's a dissident system right here. So this is a dissident system. This is gonna be a sentinel, corrupted sentinel. Oh my God. Just, there you go, right there. This will give me a uh, sentinel ship. Uh, Tortellina, oh no, no, don't even worry about it. I appreciate you, I thank you. Tortellina, I do appreciate you, seriously. I just, I try to keep it as as uh as not cheesed as possible so i do appreciate you though. I, I love it i thank you for doing that i appreciate the gesture but yeah we're just trying to keep it clean just try to keep it as 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 normal as we possibly can knowing that there might be a time where i have to do something like if something messes up or there's a glitch or something i might do uh, I might do a uh, cheat to overcome that, but for the most part, I'm trying to keep it clean. All right. We need to refine a lot of this freaking... Look at all this. Look at all this cadmium. We don't need that much cadmium. We can refine that. Um, This needs to go in here. Yeah, see, we have all the copper. We have a whole bunch of cadmium. Dude, AI valves. I'm going to have to get rid of these. I appreciate you. Can't do it. Can't keep it. All right. So now what we need to find is we need to find some uh, resonators, some purple resonators. That way we can find a, uh, we can get an echo locator map. And that will let us find a chart. Um, resonator over here. Let's see. Can I shoot it and get it? Oh, nope, I don't need that. I, uh, my ship is not ready for that. 
Do I have a bolt caster? <laughs> We're going to have to move that out of the way. I need to make a bolt caster real fast. Bolt caster, where are you? Um, nanotubes. I need three nanotubes. We could do that. All right. Three nano. Oh, my God. I can't do that. I need some uh, carbon. Okay. Uh-oh. Get some carbon. The heck? Why did I stop in the middle of the year? What is this? What is that? That's a weird hitbox. What is... Look at this. There's like a box right here. I can't fly on this. Look at... What is this? Why am I floating in the air? Get out of here, Sentinels. I need carbon. There you are, carbon. I need to make a whole bunch of... Uh, I need to make a whole bunch of nanotubes. Oh, God. I don't have the weapons. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, don't do it to me. I, I don't want to lose all my items. Get out of here. Give me that carbon nanotube. Get out of here. Where are my sentinels at? Oh, they are all over me. Okay. Yeah, they are not giving up. Oh, God. It's level three already. How in the world am I at level three already? What is this? What is... Oh, is it, okay. This might have some good stuff in it. So if you ever run across these uh, machineries, they're only on corrupted sentinel planets. They will randomly have items within them. And they could potentially have good ones like, you know, inverted mirrors or any kind of brains or something like that. So let's get this real quick. And it has... Oh, quad servos. I'll take that. I don't need it, but I'll take it. All right. Nothing else really on that. Oh, my God. Are you serious? I'm just trying to get some carbon. That's all I want. These Sentinels not going away. They're glitched out. Again, if you turn the combat up, if you change anything about the combat, it feels like they glitch out because they never go away. Look at this. Do I not have any sodium? Oh, shoot. Let me get some sodium real quick. I didn't get any uh, I didn't get any shields when I was doing my upgrades. Oh Jesus! We're gonna hide out in this cave. Hide in the cave. Now see the timer should start now. Because they lost sight of me. They don't know where I am. I'm not mining anything. So the timer should start. However, it is glitched out and they're never going to go away. They will never, ever leave. So the only way I can think of is to get in my ship and get out of it. It'll, it'll bring me to level four. However, it will also let me stop, you know, the timer. If they run away, I'm good to go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you see that? The main, the main item is cobalt. The second item is ionized cobalt. Are you serious? I can get regular cobalt and ionized cobalt from the same rock, the same mineral. Are you serious? Hello? That is awesome. I love that. I'm getting twice as much cobalt. <laughs> that is insane. That is crazy. Ionized and regular cobalt on the same item. So I have, I have my, I should have my portable refiner, right? I do. Thank God. Let's start refining some of this stuff. So we can do this. Oh God. Can I refine the quads? No, I can't. I got to delete those because they're taking up way too much room now. Okay. We got to refine that. Let's refine this ionized cobalt into regular. Co oh, no, no. We're going to refine the regular cobalt. In the no, no, no. Ionized, ionized. That's the one because I'm going to make batteries and you need regular cobalt in order to make batteries. Usually you would go the other way. You would want to turn your regular cobalt into ionized so it takes up less room in your inventory. However, if you're making batteries, you need regular cobalt or yeah, regular cobalt, not ionized cobalt. What the crap? I don't have any ferrite dust. Okay, that's why. Now, ah, well, let's get some more of this stuff. <laughs> Kate, <laughs> the Kadeem needs nuts. What? What? 
Okay, I thought there might be one with some cool effects. Jason, B class interceptor at save beacon. Ooh, get funked. Thank you. I have. To, I still have to find my freaking. Well, number one, I have to get to a whole bunch of carbon. That way, I can make a freaking weapon. Because these sentinels, look at again. These sentinels aren't leaving, so they're above me somewhere. They can't get down into the cave because you know I'm in a cave. So, but they're above me somewhere. Wait, wait let's see what the secondary item in is on this. What is my secondary item on that? Is condensed carbon. Nice. I'll take a condensed carbon. So I'm getting regular. Look at that. It's, this is the best freaking planet. I'm getting the regular and the condensed version of everything. Oh my God. That's awesome. That is so freaking good. Atlantium. Thank you for all the Atlantium. We're going to need this to, to fix our uh, Sentinel tools. Get some ferrite dust. Let's scan it real fast. We're getting money for this too. We're getting two thousand dollars. Oh, we're getting so. My God, this is a good planet. We're getting oxygen and ferrite dust. We're also getting ionized cobalt and irregular cobalt from these minerals. My God, this is so freaking good. Need coordinates on that planet, Kevin Dufresne? I can do that for you. So, there you go. Actually, you know what? We'll zoom in on that. That way you guys, you guys can see it as well. So I know it's always small. So let me do this. There you go. So that's pretty big. You should be able to get there. So those are the glyphs. If you want to come to this planet, use these glyphs right here. It's in Euclid, the starting galaxy. This planet is a freaking winner right here. Freaking winner. Is there any way you can send me the coordinates? Far King Hell. <laughs> That's pretty good. Far King Hell. There you go. You have the glyphs right here. Write them down. Take a screenshot. Whatever you need to do. Take your phone out. Take a picture of the screen. You know, pause the video. Whatever you want to do. However you're going to get the glyphs. There they are right there. There they are. So let me do this. Let me fit the screen. That way I'm zoomed back out again. But yeah, this is a good freaking cave. Now, I wish the Sentinels would go away. That would be awesome. Do I have enough to make my uh, tubes? Nanotubes. I have one, two. I need some more. I need to get rid of these quad servos. I wish I can keep them, but... They're just taking up way too much room. Um, I should be able to make some batteries. So let's make some batteries real fast. There we go. Beautiful. Got a lot of environmental protection going on here. I need some more freaking uh, more plants. There we go. Unidentified carbon. These are normal ones. They're not, you know, they don't have doubles, double materials. But hey, I'll take it. I, all I need is 50 more carbon and we're good there we go oh man we're gonna get a, we're getting a whole bunch of carbon out of those look at that look at that that's really awesome ionized as well as regular cobalt loving it marrow bulb we can turn that into sodium i mean i am making batteries so you don't really need once you have batteries and you have enough batteries you don't really need sodium i mean you can use it for other stuff other than your uh then your suit has a protection. Far King says, Jason, I have items I can meet up with you and you can have billions on pounds. Oh, no, 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 Far King. We're trying to do this legit. So I'm not going to get any materials from anybody because I want to make sure it's like a legit run, a regular good run that I can say, oh, I did it totally on the extreme mode without any advantages or any kind of like, you know, anyone helping me. I made it all by myself. <laughs> I got to have those bragging rights. All right. Let's make our weapon here. So make another one of those. So now what's going on here? There it goes. Good Lord. That was weird. Um, I kind of, okay, come on. Why are you serious? What is happening here? There it goes. Man, my game is glitching out here. Multiplayer is killing me. All right. I think if you, you want to put it in the middle. So I'm going to move my weapon over here. And I'm going to put the other one on the other side of it. I think you want it in the middle. I mean, we're just going to go with that because screw it. Why not? 
All right, so now I need to make ammo. I need ferrite dust for ammo, though, so... Do we have any more rocks down here? We do! You need 50 ferrite dust. I mean, you know, you need more, the more you can get, the better, but 50 will get you uh, 1,200 ammunition. So that should be plenty to start out with. I still have the Sentinels trying to find me. Lord knows they'll never go away. Ammo. Thank you. Seriously, yeah, these guys are just never going to let go. All righty. So. Grab that. Give me all of that ionized cobalt. Uh, Golden Helm says, also on Sentinel ships, some modules have landing liftoff animations. Like, oh, dude, Sentinel ships are freaking awesome. If you guys have not seen Sentinel ships, number one, they've been out for a few weeks now. Number two, I have a whole many, or like, I think a handful of videos, like five or six videos on different ships you can get and the location of getting them, like where you can go. You need to make sure you have a portal and your glyphs, but they're all in Euclid as far as I remember. I don't think I've gone to another system. In general, I try to stay in Euclid because Euclid, the starting galaxy, that's where everyone is. So I, I want to make it easy for anyone to get them whenever they can. So it's one of those deals, though, where if you're farther in the game, of course, you have to go back to Euclid. Let's go. Get a whole bunch of ferrite dust. Let me scan these animals right here. Get some money out of that. Come on. All right. Yeah, Sentinels are still coming after me. Come on now. Where is my ship at? There it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to my ship. We're going to get into it, and we're then we're going to get out of it because... That should activate the timer so I can run away. And once I lose all the Sentinels, we'll be good to go. But I need to uh, basically up the uh, level because right now we're at level three. We get to level four. It should reset the timer. We're going to find out. There's a spider, a little tiny arachnid guy right there. Get out of here. Oh, corrupted swarm abating. It won't go away except for they're still searching for me. Give me an echo. Give me an echo chart. Ah, dang it. Did not give me an echo chart. I was hoping for an echo chart. That way I can get a, a good multi tool. All right. No, are you guys not going to. Are you guys not going to go away? I don't even see where the Sentinels are. I might have to reload my save, you guys, because the Sentinels are just not going away. I'm still in combat, even though I don't see any Sentinels. What is going on here? We're going to reload. We're going to reload. Oh, it doesn't reload if you're in multiplayer. So, okay, you guys can, you guys can get in here. Um, Let's get in here. Holy cow, it's already been over two and a half hours. Jeez. When it bugs like this, I had to face the space battle. Ah, no, I just reload the save. I still haven't played the new Sentinel update. I really should pick up No Man's Sky again. You should, Legendaries. It's good. It's good. All right. Reset. We're good. Now we're looking for these Dissonant res Resonators. That's what we're looking for. Because when you destroy them, number one, they will give you an inverted mirror, and you need that. But number two, they have a probability of giving you a echo chart. That'll let you, that'll actually locate a special sentinel camp, a harmonic camp. So you can find, you know, uh, a sentinel ship. You can also find a sentinel multi tool. So that's why we're looking for these charts. Let me, uh, let me get some ferrite dust because we can make some more batteries while we're out here. 
Dun dun dun! Get all up! Oh, someone's shooting at me. Thank you for scaring me a little bit. Okay, this resonator is over here. We could also get these. Oh wait a minute! Oh my God, I'm running out of room in my inventory. Jesus! All right, we have our resonator down here. We'll do that as well. This needs to go over here. Cobalt. There we go. We got a lot of batteries. We're good. We need to get some radiant shards as well. So we need to get this. Man, it's taking me a while to mine this thing. Look at this. Man, that mining beam is slow, slow, slow. And I'm used to working with a, uh, a really, really upgraded save. That's why it feels slow. This is normal speed. <laughs> it just feels slow because I don't have all my upgrades on this one. All right. There's my resonator. So... There it is. There it goes. And I did not get a chart out of there. Do I have room for a chart? I do have room for a chart. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. Just to make room. Oh my god, I, I'm, I have too many. Alright, so now we have to run away from these guys. Also look for another resonator, which is another one over here. So, yeah, you just want to, to destroy these uh, these little resonators, and you will eventually get an echo chart. However, it might take a while, obviously. <laughs> obviously, it might take a little while. There's one right there. So you got to shoot it. When you shoot them, these sentinels will get angry because you're destroying their cool thing. So you got to be careful of that. So what you got to do is just destroy it and run away. As long as the Sentinels don't see you, they should stop following you. However, sometimes it glitches out and you got to deal with that. Here we go. No chart on that one either. Come on. See, there you go. You have a countdown. The swarm is hunting. Let's look around, see if we get another resonator. I don't see one. I don't see one. I don't see one. Dang it. I'm trying to find a freaking shard. Yeah, nothing, nothing. All right, we might have to, we might have to uh, go back to our ship and fly a little bit because you can see him from the air too. So if you don't want to walk on foot, like if you don't want to deal with the Sentinels or whatever, just fly low and slow and you'll eventually see them on the ground you can totally do that as well uh legendary says hey jason any guess on when the new expedition will come out my gut tells me probably not till the middle of may so i have a feeling they want to either wait till the middle or end of may maybe even june before they give us an, a new expedition it might come out with the next update so in general, not always, but in general, whenever there's a new update, you'll also get a new expedition. Sometimes, like they've done it, I think twice now, where they've only put out an expedition and no update, or they put out an update with no expedition. It's not a normal occurrence. It happens every once in a while. So I feel like we haven't heard anything about a new expedition. So they might wait until the new update before they give us another expedition. So that might be what they're going to do. Oh my god, there's a building right here. Is this a settlement? I landed right next to a settlement? I didn't even know it? Are you joking? I landed right next to a settlement. Are you freaking kidding me? Settlement right here. I At first I thought it was a camp. Look at this. We got the settlement. Let's see what we're at. This is where you can help them. Uh, let's see what the settlement is. It is a C class. So this is a very low settlement. However, as you upgrade it, it will increase the level. Right now, it is costing 230,000 units every day to run. And it's only making 108. So it's already running a deficit. It's already going negative. 
This is why you, if you have the materials and you're ready to go, do it. Get this because you need to fix it up. That's Jason hacking again. <laughs> I know. Seriously, a sentinel or not a sentinel, a settlement right next to where I landed. I didn't even see it when I landed. This is my settlement now. <laughs> I'm the, I am, I'm the uh, overseer now. So when you start up a settlement, this is good for overall. I would say I don't really care about a settlement because they give you good items, but you have to do a lot of work to get there. However, if you want to do, it is called a um, tainted metal. I think it's tainted metal. Tainted metal. The uh, there is a special mission you get only at se at settlements to upgrade your Minotaur, your Exocraft, your big robot, your mech Exocraft. You will you will get a mission. It only comes from this, unless you're playing on Nintendo Switch. If you're playing on Nintendo Switch, it will be a different setup. I haven't done it on Nintendo Switch, so I don't know how to trigger it. However, uh, any other console, like if you're playing on Xbox or PlayStation or PC, you need to go to a settlement in order to start it. I think it's Tainted Metal. Guess who shot you from above? Master Drift, was that you? <laughs> oh, God. Well, you guys, I am actually going to call it there, you guys. We need to raid somebody. Who are we going to raid? Who are... We, of course, are going to raid Flowery Squirrel. Flowery Squirrel, we're going to raid him. He's doing exploration in No Man's Sky, you guys. So, guys, seriously, I want you to break his chat. Go over there and just say, uh, Jason sucks. Go over there. And in the chat, in the chat on Flowery Squirrel's uh, stream, put in Jason Sucks. Just do that. I, mean, I want to see a whole bunch of Jason Sucks over in his chat. And I will see you over there. Thank you so much for hanging out today. And I love you guys. Hit that like button and I'll see you over in Flowery Squirrel's stream. See you guys over there.